and right back down the other side. How far will you go? With no guarantee, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your midweek show live from Manchester Airport. How are we all doing? Let's get some names in the chat, shall we? A very warm welcome to Dean and Sue, Alison. Great to see you, Alison. Uh, Practically Geek, Yorkshire Rose. Louise, have you been gifted a sub yet, Louise? (laughs) Hey, we all uh, all tried there, Louise. Uh, Just turn that down for us, will you? Awesome. There we go, yeah. perfect. Welcome, um, welcome. Very warm well, welcome to the stream, ladies and gents. We've got Andy up on the uh, Andy cam. And uh, downstairs in the studio, we've got a very special guest with us. No, it's not Mr. Matt Smith. <laughs> it is uh, Eric from uh, Mac Aviation. Hello, guys. Good morning. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, first time on this side of the mount streaming, so I'm looking... Uh, uh, for what the stream having uh, different angles, having uh, yep. you know you, you're wonderful people on uh, on the show, and uh, so yeah, definitely something to uh, look forward. Uh, you can finally can see me without a hat, without, uh, <laughs> without anything. But you, won't, you won't see me without a hat, mate. Today, I'm afraid, not the way I'm looking. <laughs> so, but yeah. thanks for coming on, mate. It's great to see you. For those who don't know, um, a very Warm welcome to the stream, but Eric uh, runs another awesome Manchester live aviation channel called Mac Aviation on YouTube. Do you want to tell us a bit about that, how it started out? Yeah, yeah. so obviously um, it's been um, now it's uh, about six, over six months since I've been doing live shows. So I've been streaming uh, just a normal uh, plane spotting video for over two years. And then I think we've been to Royal International Air Tattoo last, uh, last, last year. And that's when we done our first live shows, and uh, uh, I had a lot of uh, positive feedback about about this, uh, and that just gave me the way that uh, this is what people want to see, and that's how it's all started. So it was a, it was a very very uh, rocky uh, ride with you know we've been struggling to get uh, 720p resolution at the, at the start, yeah. but then. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, I think we all have gone through the, through this, oh, especially man, you know the Manchester uh, south, side south side, especially. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, we, yeah. We, we understand the pain on that one, mate. <laughs> so you've been there uh, before. Uh, so uh, yeah, no, but it's, it's since then we've been uh, me and, and Piotr. Uh, we've been constantly working on uh, getting that better and better. And we've uh, f- you know starting this uh, this year we've got uh, to uh, 4K. Still, bit uh, you know sometimes we it's it, it's 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 not working the way we would like to, but uh, most of the time it does. So it's. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, a, a, a nice, nice ride to be on. Um, hoping to, uh, you know, to uh, become a full-time uh, plane spotter and uh, live uh, broadcaster uh, this year. So uh, I'm pushing hard, streaming uh, minimum three times uh, a week. Uh, I'm doing things a little bit different to you guys because obviously I'm trying to uh, drive away and. Um, Keep uh, some other airports to. Uh, to yeah, um, so you're, you're going around the country a lot. We saw you at Heathrow. That's right. Uh, was so that last week or the? No, oh, this weekend. Week, I've been uh, week. Sunday. I've been streaming at uh, uh, Heathrow for uh, seven hours, so just over seven hours, uh, and then uh, uh, on Monday I've been to London uh, City Airport, like you know, like in the heart of uh, of uh, London City. So that's another good place. I think the. Uh, you know the London City Airport. It's, it's, it's a great it's, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah really cool. Yeah. It's like unique, isn't it? Because you're kind of looking across the water, depending where you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah and you, you can see, see absolutely everything. You can, see, you can see the planes. You can see the taxiway. You can see the uh, ferry cops, lift offs. But on top of that, you can also see all the baggage handlers. You can see people getting into the planes. So you can see absolutely everything. It's like on your hand there. So it's yeah. uh, amazing. Yeah, definitely a great uh, spot uh, to to uh, to visit. Yeah, make sure you check out our channel. Links will be in the uh, chat throughout today's show, folks. Uh, a massive thank you to Mr. R for returning to Premium Economy Membership. Uh, Vision Thing, thank you very much for the 30 months. Saying happy wow. 400k. Thank you very much, Vision Thing. Long-time supporter of the channel. And uh, Dominic, thank you very much for the 249 sending in your first super chat to the channel. Thank you very much, Dominic. A lot of love coming in for Arek in the chat there. Everyone's saying hello. Oh, um, guys, I'm going to go for the chat in, in a minute to say yeah. hello uh, back to you all. But, yeah, it's a, it's a great pleasure to, uh, to be here. There's, I think there's a, quite a, a lot of uh, a common uh, fan base between, uh, yeah, I think between so our as well. channels. So, uh, yeah. It's, it, it is a great to see you all guys. Hello and good morning uh, to all of you guys who, who just say hello. Alex, I will come back, I'll come back to you guys uh, in, a, in a few moments. Um, and if you do have any questions throughout today's show, um, as usual when we have a guest on the stream, uh, put them in the chat. We'll try to get through to him. If we do miss your question, we will. Uh, the, I'm sure the mods will flag it up to us. Um, so feel free to get the questions in the chat. Both myself and Eric can, uh, can see the chat. So um, yes, that's right. Um, there we go. That's a bit easier. On uh, my eyes, just I'm zoom in still on kind of uh, new environment to me. Obviously, yeah. Take your time, mate. Take your, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, so still, it's still still to us as well. Uh, oh, I'm. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so, to, to, to but by the way, just uh, congratulations on reaching uh, another Thank milestone. You, Absolutely uh, amazing stuff. So, uh, wow, you're setting up the uh, the bar very high. So, uh, we'll, Thank you, uh, mate. Really appreciate stuff. that. And of course, um, a special, another special guest on today's show, we are expecting a high fly. A340-300 to arrive here at Manchester on 05s, actually, which will be quite a unique view of that. Super um, excited for that. Yeah, it's going to be great, isn't it? Amazing. And uh, I'll... Uh, Re- Real... Real Batis. Batis. That's right. Batis. 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 Yes. Mate, I practiced this about four times before the stream. I still got it wrong. It near, yeah. It's just left, has it? Okay, there uh, we yeah. go. See, guys, I know nothing about football. Um, I asked Eric... He didn't really watch too much football. Andy's been practicing it. Go on, Andy. What, Real Betis? There you yeah. go, Bosh. That's Real Betis, on board. I don't know. Coming to, uh, they are coming to uh, play Manchester United. But another very special day. Can we get some happy birthdays in the chat for my dad? It's his uh, 30th birthday. Oh, oh. <laughs> his, uh, happy birthday to dad. I'll be happy uh, hopping over after the stream today to see you, mate. Happy birthday. And uh, Flying Architect, welcome back for 23 months. Seems to be a bit of a crosswind today. Only, only minor, but enough to sort of give the planes a bit of a wobble when they 
when they rotate like that. Seeing the aircraft just leaning to its left. 2737 Max 8 departing. And yeah, that A340 is with High Fly and it's coming from Seville this morning. Apparently, it was it's meant to be due before 12. Although, I'd imagine Seville, based on where it is, it's going to be like more than a two hour flight up to Manchester. So, I'd probably imagine that'd come in around midday, just after midday. Yeah. And uh, A380 check, apparently, it left, uh, left early, didn't it? So. Yeah. Oh. It's on, yeah, it's coming in early anyway. So, uh, or yeah, like you say, it's going to be with us early. So, fingers crossed, we may uh, we may actually see that leave on time on today's show. Uh, a massive thank you to Peter Carroll for the twelve months saying I uh, got my red tail. Congratulations on reaching the four hundred k as well. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate that. Cheers, Peter. And uh, Captain Gaz subscribing for two months on Twitch as well. Um, if you are watching us on Twitch, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you are all well. Also had Amy Rose. I don't know if you read that one out. Uh, I missed that one, sorry. Uh, Amy Rose with a 12 month sort of premium economy also getting her red tail. Saying good morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, Enjoy that red tail, Amy. Question coming in now. It's saying, uh, first impressions, South, do you prefer this side or the South side? <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no right answer here, mate. It's all no, good. No, no, no. Of course not. No, no. It's, uh, it's a brilliant spot. Uh, you know, like you said, you are. Uh, uh, like, I just need to uh, have uh, a few more moments. It's just like. Settling too in. much going on uh, for me. I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm kind of usually one man, ma- one man orchestra. So I'm just yeah. like with my phone like that, <laughs> doing it, all the camera in, in, in the other hand. So yeah, I must uh, admit, it's the the shows have got a bit bigger than we initially planned. <laughs> yeah, I'll totally be honest. Right. And it's kind of one of those. Yeah, it's like one of the things where it's kind of got to the point now where you can't really turn back. You yeah, know? no, no, no. You get but, nowhere. You but we s- we still look to make it bigger every time you know we're always yeah. like right this month we've got this much to spend what should we buy <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh we're always always looking as as with yourself obviously you've just done the recent upgrade to 4k as well which yeah. is mega um really really cool yes and uh, someone's got a wookie in the chat <gasps> there it lee smythe is in the chat the oh! first ever <laughs> wookie next to his name <laughs> that is crazy. Crazy. there you go so that is 36 months, right? Oh, wow. Yes. 36 months member, Lee. You're the very first one. I only uploaded those yesterday, Lee. Oh, wow. So thank really? you so That's much, amazing, mate. Man. Great to see you in the chat today, wow. dude. The first in the chat to get it. That's crazy. Is Lee Davies in the chat? I know he's very close. I don't think he's crossed the mark yet. I love though. how you just spotted that and just got super <laughs> hyped. <laughs> yeah. That looks quite good. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, buzzing. Buzzing, nice. buzzing. James Isherwood, welcome back for four months, saying, uh, happy days, everyone, fantastic stream as always to Arek as well. So Thanks. another uh, person who enjoys your stream there, Arek. Nice one. Thanks, guys. Uh, and uh, Callum, welcome to First Class, member of brand new VIP as well. And uh, do you remember your first uh, shows? And then uh, I do, actually. Um, we were, well, unfortunately, for, for a bit of a, um, a sadder uh, reason, we were, which we'll explain later, we were uh, looking through our old shows last night and um yeah it was over on south side um we <laughs> which spot was it was it over there well we were actually over in a oh, field okay, over there okay. where we probably shouldn't have been um <laughs> <laughs> we all took a gloss over that one um but we knew me and charlie we we didn't know how long it would uh, the batteries would last we didn't even have a battery bank so what i did was i charged my laptop up before i left yeah <laughs> i did that we drove to the airport <laughs> plugged it in had obs run in um, with a really old camera that I'd had just in a drawer for years. <laughs> and uh, we went live. I think the stream lasted like 50 minutes before we ran out of battery on the yeah. laptop. And uh, then the very next thing was we went out and bought a um, one of those jump start things from Halfords. Like oh, the, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. But they had Car. like a little 13 amp power yeah, pack yeah, on yeah, it. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we used that, and that used to get us through um, to do like two hour shows. Okay. But towards the end of the shows, it would beep. Because you Because it low. was running out of battery and be like, beep, <laughs> beep, <laughs> that yeah. is beep. And for like the last 15 minutes of the show, everyone <laughs> knew at some point it was just going to cut off. And that would be it. So. I, I always remember, was it like a, a PIA triple or something? Or some kind of like Saudi Dreamliner? Yeah. And you really held off and it touched down when yeah. it was beeping. And the second it like kind of st- opened its reverses, the stream cut out. Yeah. So we're like, guys, the, the battery's definitely going to die any second. The laptop was saying, 
with critical power. And I said, we can just catch the landing, and then it just touched down, and then bang, the stream just went off. And, and that was it, no goodbye, just the whole thing just gone. <laughs> so, yeah, how about you, mate? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much the same. I've got my own uh, power unit, uh, obviously making a bit of a noise in the background. I've got a like, 30 meter lead uh, cable just to take the noise away, uh, away from ah, it. Right, so okay. That's how I power all my equipment. Uh, some of the my stream are quite like seven, uh, eight hours. I think I have done one over eight hours. Wow. So, wow. Oh. You need uh, you need uh, some uh, you know some some uh, some power to keep all that uh, uh, devices uh, up, especially now when you well when you stream in 4K. Yeah. Uh, the battery is kind of drained quite. Uh, okay, much so you're um, well, I guess without going into too much detail, you're 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 using a laptop primarily, are you or have you? Uh, yeah, we've done a uh, tweak uh, to that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but cool. yes, but the laptop is part of the uh, setup. Part of the uh, setup, yeah, because they, yeah. they for us were the the big issue power wise was the laptop yeah yeah Ooh, and we're like how do we cut the lap the laptop out of that um we were just trying to trying to work that out but well that's why i've got uh i've got this power generator it's like uh it's uh 800 watts mm-hmm. so i can plug in for quite a so few things that's like, actual like diesel or petrol or yeah, something yeah it's petrol yeah wow. it's petrol so <laughs> I mean, you're not messing about I know petrol <laughs> so generator obviously ones i've been doing those oh wow that's a wow that's a great uh, gorgeous that. yes Beautiful. <laughs> Nice. So yeah, I've been uh, usually once I've been now get more equipment. Uh, so in, initially, the, uh, the um, I would kind of um, the, the generator would last uh, for over eight, eight hours. But now, I once I got more uh, uh, devices plugged in, it's it's uh, like five hours, and then I need to uh, take my uh, uh, petrol can. And then top it off. Oh, wow. nice. So I'm coming nice. back. Take it to the BP garage. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm coming. I'm coming back to. Uh, you know, I'm going to the top up, and usually I spilled some of it. So I'm coming back, and I, my my hands things <laughs> off petrol. <laughs> and I'm still kind of you know. Uh, wow. Mate, the things we do, eh, to make these live yeah, shows yeah, happen. Yeah, I think so. we're we're uh, certainly very lucky in, in, in uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah, having so. to worry about that. But well, I mean, so my my head up is quite big, but uh, that that's thanks to that I can travel. And I, you know, have. Uh, 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 you on the, on the plane with that petrol generator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking it overseas, a bit tricky. Oh, yeah, you know uh, what? I did try. You bag. know what? I did try. I did try. We went to uh, uh, for a three days uh, streaming uh, uh, at uh, Belgium and Holland. Uh, so we, I did inquire that with Ryanair. We were flying uh, to to uh, Belgium, and they said, "Yeah, uh, it's okay." But then we landed at uh, at Belgium at um, Brussels Airport. Everything's fine. Yeah, great. We got our luggage, and it's well, it's coming. I'm picking up luggage from the belt, and it's it's not heavy enough. So I knew straight away they took our generator out oh. because the yeah they said uh, no, obviously. I guess it's I got petrol, some, is it? Or? Yeah. I, they say it's a battery. They say it's some, some fluid inside there. Obviously, so obviously lesson learned for me. So what we've done, we went to a kind of, you know, B&Q, local B&Q, and uh, mm-hmm. buy a new one. <laughs> and we used it for three days and we left it uh, for, oh, for someone. Uh, I, I uh, guess you never got the old one back or was that like... Cop- yeah, yeah, no, I didn't get it back. So it was taken out at, uh, you know, when, when they're doing the, the x-rays and uh, at the Manchester airport. Uh, they've put a little note into my bag saying, uh, come back. When, when you come back, please uh, ring this number. So I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they, they direct me where to go. I, f- I, f- I thought I was going to spend there, like, you know, uh, trying to be, you know, banged from one uh, phone call to the another. And then I got to the airport and then, yeah, okay. So uh, uh, they kind of direct me, I'll go to the security guy. And uh, I showed this little uh, slip, and they knew straight away yeah. uh, what was it about because obviously they don't see that very often. They don't, well, they said this, they never seen anyone <laughs> trying to generate <laughs> <laughs> ground power. Obviously, unit. but I did put <laughs> all the fluids out as much as I could, so there was there was no oil, there was no petrol. Was a lithium? But these lithium ion batteries in it? Was it? Is no, no, no. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, mm. But. Uh, Obviously, I didn't. I didn't go deeper into that. I just I was happy. Just I is got, what it is. Yeah, yeah they were probably just playing it safe, weren't they? They, they didn't know exactly what it was. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, like I said, it was. Uh, it's a bit annoying how Ryanair did give you that approval, though. And then. Well, I did. I did ask uh, uh, for that. So, uh, you know. Well, there you go. If anyone's thinking of generator with them to uh, 
Belgium. Uh, yeah. No, no, <laughs> no I, I just thought, yeah, you, you can't get the uh, you can't get the generator out of the uh, UK uh, if you're flying to Europe. No, yeah. don't Your do next that. holiday to Alicante. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't bring the generator. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Singapore on the roll. For let's enjoy this departure, and then we'll catch up with all the awesome support that's coming into the channel. Thank you, everyone. Yep. It's a nice early rotation, yep. and you're lucky to get the touchdown shots as well. When uh, when they switch over to the single runway, uh, but a massive thank you to Chrissy for gifting an airliners live membership to the community. Thank you very much, Chrissy. That's gone to Barbara P. Sterling. Barbara, enjoy that. Uh, oh. Gifted wow. membership. Well done, well, uh, Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Good to have you. Oh, nice. Uh, good to see you, Barbara, and good to see you, Roy, and good to see all my uh, my crew. Your um, regular crew. Yeah. Yes. So Thank you for tuning in, guys. It's it, great to have you with us. And it was nice to meet uh, you and the crew, by the way, at the task fair the other weekend. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Was, thank you was, for coming over. No, it's fine. It was just a mad day, and I no, no, it was, you've, it been, really you've been all over. The, you know, yeah, it was, it was a crazy so day. We didn't yeah. spend as much time as I wanted to, but it's uh, you know, I knew. Uh, yeah, it, it is one yeah, of those. Yeah, and that yeah. was yourself. Roy was there, right? I Roy was and Piotr. Uh, yes, you know. Uh, so we uh, just uh, say uh, hello. And, yeah, uh, yeah. It's great to I, great to see you guys. I'll just try and catch up very quickly because we're running quite behind on this. Uh, Jonathan yep, Darwin, ahead. thank you very much for the brand new VIP membership. Welcome, dude. Uh, Ray K, returning for five months. I'm very much enjoying this. Thank you for helping me relax as well. Thanks to mm -hmm. all the mods. Cheers, Ray. Thank you very much. Uh, Tina Stockman, thank you very much for the 199. Good morning to Martin, Andy, and a very warm welcome to Arek on the show from Tina. Thank you, Tina. Uh, Appreciate thanks, it. Tina. Nice one. Uh, Samantha, putting £2 in the pot for your mechanic bill last night, Andy, which... Oh, uh, oh, the, op the other way round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting paid. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sam. Let me have a look. Uh, Reagan Farmer, thank you very much for the brand new VIP. Welcome to VIP, Reagan. Uh, Terry Edwards gifting a membership to the channel as well. Thank you very, very much, guides. Uh, cheers. Lords Who Travel, thank you very much for the brand new VIP. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, wow, Barbara putting in a very huge uh, mega bong, we call it, donation. Anything that's purple or red on the channel, Barbara, we call a mega bong. Thank you so much for the extremely generous $100 donation for wow. Airliners Live. Having the guest today, very nice. Thanks, Thank you, Barbara. Barbara. Like, nice one. That's you never, so you never fail. Uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing support. Thank you Thank very, you. very much, Barbara. We really, really do appreciate that. It is great to have Eric on the show. We've been trying to get Eric on that's for right, that's a right. little while to yeah. match up our, I, I, just our schedules. Uh, get our and, schedules and, right. Yeah. I was saying to Martin, even if I join our stream on my personal one, because... I tend not to use the airliners live name when I go into another live stream. No, I feel no, like that's fair enough. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to like be like, oh, look at me, guys. I'm, I'm in yeah, it. Yeah. So I just like to talk to my personal. So a lot of people don't don't know who it is and things. Yeah, but not uh, most people know it anyway. So yeah, by now they do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I just try to keep a bit low key. And every time I join our stream, he's always hyping up airliners live. So I say, oh, yeah, no, for airliners sure. live, go tune yeah, in yeah, to yeah. them guys. You know, they stream over there. And yeah, it's it's so it's, it's good. Like so, obviously, we're trying to follow your paths. Uh, Obviously, we're a few years behind, but uh, you know, it's, I'm glad that we are having a good relation. Yeah, it's you know, super is, important, uh, mate. It really is. It's um, it's one of those things I think where, like, at the end of the day, we're both doing the same thing. But as you said earlier on, we're kind of doing different paths on that. Yeah. You're doing a lot of uh, different locations. Um, obviously, we're we're streaming from the same airport. We are on the south side, we're yeah, on the north yeah. side. So there's That's a fine. lot of like really cool Which, kind of things we can do together exactly thing, right? there's, there's enough days in a day and then now I'm definitely looking forward to uh, you know to the time switch when the yep. days become uh, longer and yes. then that will give us and you know even extra windows for uh, for streaming uh, yeah, as awesome. well so that's definitely something I'm looking forward to what, what days do you stream these days uh, from Manchester for example uh, do you have so a schedule we, yes so I had a schedule but it, I've changed it slightly so uh, these days if I'm in Manchester for a week then I'll be Monday uh um, Monday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. and possibly Saturday. But uh, mm -hmm. no, so uh, yeah, Monday, Friday, Saturday. That's that's definite. If I'm in Manchester, and I might uh, push in a Thursday, because usually I usually use uh, Thursday to do some tests and, yeah. uh, and trials. So mm. uh, 
because I'm not, uh, yeah, there's, there's not as much, uh, viewers and there's some loyal fans who don't get, you know, don't get very, uh, yeah, upset we do if something thing, is not yeah. going, uh, right the way that you would like to see. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's when you're usually doing that. Uh, and they're good, the trials, because it kind of shows that you're just trying to, like, push the show a bit further. You're trying yeah. to do more things. So a lot of, like you say, the loyal viewers, the long-time viewers are just happy to be on yeah. that road. We kind of have a similar thing where we, we usually do stuff um, for, like, an hour or so for the VIPs. Um, and then usually, if it's working fine, we just we just go to a bit of a, like you say, a bit of a bonus bonus show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it is good to just be constantly pushing the boundaries, I'd say. It is extremely hard streaming by yourself as well. Like, obviously, me and Martin don't do it so often anymore. Occasionally, we will do. <laughs> um, we have our um, colleague over in uh, Vancouver, uh, Henry. That's right, yeah, he's does, amazing. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. he does regular shows. He's quite new to it as well in the grand scheme of things. He, hmm. He's approaching his first year now. Oh, is he? Okay. Um, and, you know, streaming by yourself, man, it's a really strange flow you've got to do of, like, check and chat radar yeah. Yeah. stream camera yeah, e- yeah. everything's just a constant flow and it's really really hard to get used to and then not even to mention things like getting the stream right so like your camera work and your audio levels and like even like the colors on the on the camera tweaking them yeah. that's the thing like like you like you say we we are really lucky i think that airliners live has always been two people um so it's myself and a friend of mine charlie um, and then when Charlie um, moved on to other things, Andy came on board. And having that backwards and forwards is is great, but like you say, it's a completely different challenge when you're doing it by yourself. Yeah, it, and and hats off to you, mate, because I don't think I'd be able to do it by myself. And it's, it's just it's uh, you know, especially when the things not going your way. I was uh, getting really you know and and you know uh, agitated very quickly when things were going my way, but. Uh, you know, it all comes with uh, with um, uh, the experience. with, uh, with and, experience, and, and just and that's, kind of that's not even going into the weather. <laughs> we <laughs> oh have to yeah, deal with. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not looking forward to the next. Uh, well, I'm streaming there tomorrow, uh, Friday, then Saturday, and it's uh, the only good thing about this uh, because I was gonna be gonna having a lot of uh, snow, rain, and bad nasty wind. So the only the positive thing is that I will be getting wind, which will blow uh, from the back. Okay. So that's the only thing which is, you know... <laughs> yeah, the snow is coming. I uh, I called my sister, who, who lives down in London this morning, and uh, she said, have you got snow? I said, no, no snow. She said, oh, it's really heavy, thick down here. So I was like, oh, well, maybe, maybe that's, yeah, so maybe that's, I, I, that's uh, going uh, on. I'm usually using the Met Office uh, app uh, for that. It's not 100% accurate, but just giving yeah, you yeah, the, definitely, uh, the, the definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. John, thank you so much for the five Airliners Live memberships to the community. That's very generous of you, John. Thank you so much. Uh, Laurie M also gifting five memberships. Thank you so much. That's amazing, guys. Thank you for the support. Again, Barbara, thank you for the huge donation coming in. It's great to uh, great to have you with us. And um, apparently uh, we have a PC-12 landing in a few minutes, uh, okay. Andy, which might be quite nice if it's nice. on single lot. Yes, we don't uh, get those uh, very often, so yeah, beautiful. But uh, yes, actually, Andy, it's, uh, it's an extra landing. Quite a nice scheme, actually. Uh, okay. It's coming in from Belfast, Ravener. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, is that their new, their new uh, oh, edition? Oh, yeah, that's is it? Nice. nice. Yeah, I think that's right, have, NG, yeah, that's the yeah, one. Yeah, they have like, is it two or three now? I think it's two. Uh, and there was the MSI. There it is, under. Oh, yes. That we've seen quite regularly. But this is the new addition to their fleet. I've not seen this in person yet. And Laurie, I'm gifting another five Airliners Live memberships. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, I love, that. love them colours. That's beautiful. Wow, that's gorgeous. Nice. And uh, Ozzy, thank you so much for the £10 Airliners Live Super Chat. Really appreciate that, Ozzy. Thank you so much. Lots of support yeah, coming in today. But if you fantastic. are just tuning in, um, a very warm welcome to the stream. We've been joined here today uh, by Arik, who uh, is the host. Hi, guys. Yeah, and, so uh, welcome to Mac Aviation and Airliners Live together. First time yeah. ever. Excellent. Uh, hopefully not the last one. Um, I can uh, already... Uh, Invites you back if you are uh, oh, there, to, the side, yeah. there yes. to work. Make sure you put your uh, wellies on because it's going to be quite <laughs> muddy down there, as you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to definitely... I um, need to uh, not do another update, which is I need to uh, add another another mic to my setup because at the moment I've got only just one mic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shotgun on, uh, on top to get, you know, the damn noise. Yeah. 
No so, worries. Uh, I mean, if, if we do join you, we've got a bit of kit we can lend you to, to yeah. mix, mix that in. So, <laughs> Take so the mixer you, over. Well, and <laughs> we, well, we've got that little mix mix pre, haven't we? Yeah, we that's can, really we can good, use, so. yeah. um, We've got you covered there, mate, if oh. ever you need to... Uh, have, well, if, even even if it's not us, if if you've got a guest on, um, and and you want to do that, then just give us a shout and just just yeah, borrow yeah, a piece of equipment. So I, no actually, problem. actually, after the show, I might uh, stay for a uh, half an hour just to uh, talk about the book because the uh, yeah. audio it's uh, it's my weak uh, weak side, if you know what I mean. So no worries, yeah, we you, can uh, help you with that. Obviously, mate. you've got uh, a lot of experience pre uh, pre streaming, so yeah. it's uh, definitely the, this will be something I would like to uh, absolutely uh, mate. get some advantage of it. No worries. Wow. Richards, thank you so much for the five airliners live gifted memberships, guys. You're unbelievable today with the uh, the amount of support that's coming in. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, but we do want to uh, flood the hearts in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, if we can for the next couple of minutes, as we uh, we seem to have a bit of a break in the traffic, folks. Uh, some very sad news coming in to the flight sim community yesterday. Um, I'm sure many of you in the flight simulation community know this already, but unfortunately, uh, we are sad to report that Matt Davies uh, passed away yesterday morning. An absolute icon in the flight sim community, guys. Um, we know, uh, you guys know we had Matt on the channel um, at the very early days of Airliners Live. Um, quite sad for me that... I was actually speaking to Matt about a month ago about getting him on as a guest and he was dead excited, really wanted to come on uh, and we were just trying to align our schedules and unfortunately, it, it, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking but we just could not fit him in uh, before and, and like I say, it's, it's, it's got in that he's, that he's passed away but uh, ladies and gents, unfortunately, very sad news, Matt Davies has passed away yesterday morning. Um, so yeah, all our thoughts obviously go uh, to his family. Of course, he's been battling for quite a while with uh, with bad health, um, and uh, and yeah, very very sad news coming in. Unfortunately, to uh, to the flight sim community, no doubt there'll be lots of love from those guys and uh, some sort of events taking place to to remember him as well because he he really was. He got a lot of people into flight simulation. He certainly got me into flight sim. John was saying last night how. John was inspired to take up flight simulation because of Matt, and uh, and yeah, just a, a real, real shame that we just we couldn't get him on the show. It is, it is a massive shame, but he was a, a huge advocate for the channel. Um, he did try streaming again um, a few months ago, but unfortunately, like I say, his, his health again took a turn for the worse. Wow. But when we popped in there, he was just super hyped about how well the channel's done, and it was great to see like where it come from. And if you have a look through our Twitch archives, right at the very uh, beginning, uh, there are some clips of when Matt joined us Southside on the show, and it, it really was good. We had lots of fun, and uh, yeah, fly high, mate. And uh, like I say, all our thoughts to Matt's family there as well. That was one of the best streams. Uh, we've ever done in my opinion it was the, the, the level of banter and fun that was on that stream was so good yeah way back when and I think he was probably the first ever guest to be honest I well, think he sure. was he was probably the <laughs> first ever guest yeah, yeah. that's right and uh, <laughs> Charlie had a, um, a hat and his and his hat folded out to an umbrella <laughs> around his head, and Matt put it on, and he was stood there like this. And we followed the uh, we followed Flybe. the dash eight yeah. out, and we panned off the flight <laughs> eight, and just Matt's head just come into <laughs> shot like this. This thing, oh man, it's wow. so funny. We were looking back at that last night, just having a having wow. a good laugh. But wow. he was a real entertainer as well. He, he really was. I, I don't think there's anybody in the flight sim community at the moment um, that really could entertain. Uh, like Matt could, there was always a laugh, and I, and I know he was a bit controversial at times, and and his jokes were definitely on the edge. But he he was just a really good all round entertainer, and uh, yeah, just such a shame, big loss to the uh, to the community. Definitely. So we're sending our deepest condolences on behalf of uh, uh, my Aviation family to uh, uh, family members and friends. So, uh, so, so, so. Very sad news. The Jet 2 is uh, on the roll out to Alicante, 737-800. No uh, generators on board? No. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, obviously, when we, if they've been any on the on the, on the luggage state, they will stay in, a, in yeah. a, uh, ready to pick up one after uh, after the holiday, if someone's got any ideas like, like I did. <laughs> 
Uh, Terry, I'm, I'm afraid the um, the stream will not be there anymore because Twitch doesn't keep the streams for that long. So we have the clips, but just not the stream anymore. But we will put the clips out uh, on our social media. We put a post out yesterday on Twitter, and I did link that clip in the Twitter post. So if you do want to see that clip of Matt, guys, uh, go and check out the Twitter post because I put it on there. It's, it's pretty pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> But if uh, you are just tuning in, a very warm welcome. We're joined by Arek today from Mac Aviation, an awesome Manchester-based content creator. And uh, we're enjoying some Zero Five action here from Manchester. Okay, so hello once again. Welcome, guys. And yes, it's a great uh, great fun and great pleasure to be here having this fantastic view on uh, on the runway today. We're quite lucky. The, 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 the air is quite uh, clear today. Mm -hmm. And it's, we do have... Oh, it's another... Uh, uh, France 21 by the looks of it. Oh yeah, that's, uh, it is, yeah, it's a, it's usually a 18, 19, yeah, yeah, just short ones. smaller than that, yeah, yeah, cool. It's nice to see the 21s. Mm. Tony, thank you so much for gifting 10 Airliners Live memberships to the community. Really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much, dude. That's a huge, uh, gifted membership train. And along with G-Power, we're also gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Thank you so much for the huge amount of support coming in uh, today. Golden Girl. Oh, yeah. And Paul Murphy. <coughs> Welcome back, Paul. Great to have you with us. The Virgin Atlantic A330 heading out to Atlanta here. Gorgeous view. Isn't she beautiful? We're really lucky here at Manchester Airport because we have a lot of A330 action. I know a lot of people love that aircraft. What about you, Eric? Have you got a favourite aircraft you like to see here at Manchester? Uh, I think I've got a bit of a soft spot for um, Qatar 777. Uh, All right, uh, yeah, nice. It's, uh, it, I think, I think this, uh, well, I, 777, it is my, my uh, Dash 300, my favourite uh, aircraft. Uh, and um, it's kind of very, you know, uh, fine or very narrow uh, gap between uh, 777 and A350 uh, oh, yes. these, these two are my uh, uh, my favourites obviously super heavy is the uh, the uh, A380s and uh, 747 is the same one and that's uh, in their own class you know so that's a uh, uh, different scale for them to uh, aircraft uh, but yeah I think got, uh, from the normal normal traffic it's uh, yeah the 777 yeah. yeah, just slightly, slightly, slightly ahead. That's Especially the one which was the uh, the Qatar. Just a bit just, noisier as well. Yes, that's it's right. Yeah, that's another, yeah. That's another good side of uh, of the uh, of the triple seven. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, and also love the uh, seven five seven here at the uh, Dash two hundred, which we've got here in Manchester. You know, the, the Jet two wearing that uh, grey and red livery. Mm. So this is definitely my my, my favourite uh, narrow body aircraft. The uh, the one we've got in here. The uh, 757 of the Jet 2. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. And in terms of something that you've caught on stream that you always kind of remember as like like a wow moment, do you, what what do you, would you say would be, uh, uh, be that one? I'd, I don't know. I'd, I think at the moment I'm just... Uh, um, I've been at the moment. I just got some uh, bad uh, memories with some uh, so many things going wrong. So at the moment, yeah. that these are my uh, nemesis, and I just kind of. Uh, uh, I'm just kind of going through that stage. Uh, from uh, interesting bits, I remember there was a there was a Cathay Pacific. Uh, there was emergency landing as the landing gear. There was it was flying out to Hong Kong. Uh, the landing gear hasn't gone in, uh, so he was circling over the Irish Sea for um, for nearly an hour, and then he has landed on um, zero. It was it was landing on the 23 uh, left. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. I think we were watching. We had stream. it on in the office. Yeah, thing, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So that um, was that was uh, something. Yeah, we I had was... the scanner on, and we thought, "Oh, great, Eric's, uh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna." <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Eric knows he's landing on two three left. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that yeah. for me, I, I've um, we've caught one arrival on two three left, which was the old um, seven six uh, seven. No, oh. the uh, Dakota, Dakota yeah. uh, <laughs> World War. II. So he was doing a, uh, he was going to an air show, uh -huh. and it flew uh, along um, this way yeah. and then uh, it called up and uh, it had a engine prop failure oh, yeah. so wow. it turned around and it was lined up for two three right and then it visually sidestepped over to the left and landed and we were down the rotation point oh okay and, oh, and, it, cool. and unfortunately it got stuck there 
because they didn't have the right tow bar to, oh, okay. and it couldn't taxi on one engine because it kept going around in circles. Wow. So we were just filming it and it just stayed there, I think, overnight. And then Wasn't they, had to, really? they yeah. had to bring in the, the tow bar to take it over. Wow. Um, and I think they even fixed it here at Manchester and then it, and then it, it left. Back. Right. But that was a really crazy, crazy <laughs> catch. They, they don't get these uh, planes very often. <laughs> no. We were just hoping we'd see it just fly over in the sky, you know? yeah. and we oh, even right. said on the stream, I wonder if we would just catch it just a little bit. And he landed in front of, in front and of it just landed right in front of us, <laughs> just couldn't believe it. We was, everyone was like, oh, can we get you on the news? We want on this, and I was like, what? It was just like crazy. But, uh, I think for me, though, my favourite, um, I'd say the, fa- the aircraft that really always sticks in my mind when I think back to it was, um, Charlie was... I think Charlie was ill or something like that um, and I still wanted to stream so I came and did the stream and we knew it was going to rain and uh, I was south side on the line up point and I had an umbrella and, and it stopped raining so I put the umbrella in the mud and I, I stabbed it down into the mud and I snapped it in half <laughs> you really? right so it was like hang, <laughs> hanging on like this and then the rain started coming again right so I'm I'm on south side and I used to just wobble the umbrella trying to hold it and film at the same time and there's a uh, privileged Classic, style yeah. 767 oh yeah just screams out the loudest departure you've ever had I'm just there like whoa and it's just filming it with donkey umbrella oh, wow. yeah, it was so uh, nice. yeah that's that's the one for you just the noise that thing yeah, made yeah, was just yeah. incredible and just how funny it was just how it happened it just <laughs> yeah. you just, uh, just reminded me Actually, one one time I was uh, at the start of the uh, two three right that that uh, that spot there, yeah. And it was the day that we got you know fifty percent of uh, of uh, rain, and it was quite okay, no problem. Uh, but I did have my I've got like massive un- um, umbrella. It's uh, I got it from uh, from Amazon, but I've kind of uh, reinforced it with some stainless steel, so it's yeah. kind of uh, rigid. Like one of those big fishing yeah, yeah, umbrellas. Yeah, but like yeah. I said, it's, it's been uh, it's been upgraded. So it's been on, uh, but um, I've seen this cloud was moving across, and it was moving closer and closer, but it was kind of windless all day, and then it kind of, like, once that uh, cloud was really close to us, and then now uh, the wind has just kind of rapidly just pick up, and it was just start doing all that, <laughs> trying to take my, my, my umbrella away, and the, obviously you had a very heavy wind with it, so the wind was, wind and rain was going over me, over camera, over everything, I was trying to feel it, well. <laughs> I know exactly, it's the same just, thing, just yes, blowing, I was just mental, like people have said to us before, oh you should do airliners live, branded umbrellas, like I ain't doing my logo on an umbrella, you yeah, see yeah. my logo just going down, flying the across, the yeah, yeah, no. get in trouble for that, yeah. no thank <laughs> you, <laughs> you're over TV, welcome back for two months of Airliners Live memories and great guys, lovely content, greetings to Arek. Uh, heading to Tel Aviv in 17 minutes. Nice, nice your one. aviation. That's Hello, awesome, Mikey. Dude. Good to have you with us. Uh, oh, welcome, dude. Uh, John, thank you very much. John Thackeray, a brand new VIP to the channel. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Welcome. Um, scrolling back through, we've got a lot to, lot to catch up on. We also have... Uh, now the gifted membership by Harbour Tea Rooms, and that's gone to Chris uh, Howard. Thank you very much, Harbour Tea Rooms, for oh. gifting that membership. And uh, Bill uh, with the four ninety nine super chat saying, "Great oh. to see Eric uh, indoors." Thanks, uh, hi Bill. <laughs> Good to have you. It's great to be indoors for a change. <laughs> uh, like I said, so it's. Uh, Listen, mate. If, if if you have too much indoors, you can go out the hatch on the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We can talk about that. No problem. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Get some fresh air. Yeah. Yeah, it's on bad. It wasn't the best when we had that heat wave last year. Oh, that was tough. 30, yeah, yeah. 30 odd degrees. Yeah, so, yeah. so we were filming the arrival of that, um, the deck 747 at Bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. that 30 odd degree day. Right, yeah, yeah. And uh, it turned out I had COVID. I just thought I had really? heat, heat stroke. Wow. And I was like, oh, I got heat stroke. I felt sick and dizzy and everything. And then the next day I started coughing. And I realized for two days I'd been around everybody with COVID not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone apart from Andy's girlfriend dodged it. Oh, um, wow. Jen, Jen got it. Wait, the other way around. Sorry, uh, everyone apart from Jen and Andy's girlfriend. No, I, I. Hold on, what am I trying to say? You didn't catch it. <laughs> everyone and I was got with it bar me, basically. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> How so obviously didn't get you it, had it before, probably. Yeah, maybe. Well, something we, like that. We yeah. think so, maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember that, that heat wave well. Quite a nice, 
my smoke. Yeah, the uh, it looks quite a new paint on the back of that because usually these are starting to fade um, on the they Norwegian. Do. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed Max that myself. Manus, did I say? Yeah, I, I didn't I quite catch it. We'll have to have a, yeah, have my a Nor- look. But my Norwegian history isn't up to scratch. Uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> Max Manus Livery, That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well spotted there. Let's have a look. And my dad in the chat just saying it's nice to see two Manchester streamers get together and uh, hopefully help to inspire each other. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So it's uh, as I said before, uh, you guys are uh, setting up uh, the bar very high. So we will just try to follow, and we will uh, we will obviously continue doing what we are doing, uh, streaming from Manchester, streaming from other airports. We are going uh, away uh, to Scotland. Uh, on the 26th of um, March, the yep. A380 is coming back to Glasgow nice. uh, on a regular uh, wow. on a regular uh, basis. At the moment, it's a 777 um, aircraft uh, providing uh, provided on that on that route. So uh, 26th, uh, it's a Sunday, so we'll be streaming from Glasgow. And obviously, once I'll be driving up uh, that high, so I will also visit the uh, Edinburgh and. We might be doing the first ever live stream from uh, Aberdeen if the weather will be good Ooh, enough. That would be awesome. Will, will, a long be. way as well. It is. Like I said, I've already been there once, so it's. Uh, I'll try to make like a four-day uh, uh, streaming uh, spree from 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 that. Uh, that would be great. But obviously, that's uh, there's a big question mark on the on the weather. Uh, so I'm hoping the weather will allow me to uh, uh, to do that. Yeah. Because, yeah uh, especially always... Aberdeen, you've got you've got mist and you've got that kind of. Uh, stuff which can affect our uh, that's uh, the thing with Scotland it is always the weather that will yeah, probably yeah. catch you because uh, my my partner Jen loves loves Scotland and it seems like every time we go it's usually it's rain. raining yeah. at some point <laughs> <laughs> yeah it will, so I'm, I'm okay with rain as long as, long as it's not uh, raining like horizontal yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's fine uh, so especially in the, the, uh, there is a really good spot at Edinburgh airport uh, uh, Glasgow, maybe. It's like a little mound at Edinburgh, I think, isn't it? that you can yep. you no. can see from you can see the tower and everything. We we went there, we did a little phone stream because me and Jen just oh, yeah. just went through there and I grabbed a few pictures of the uh, MH Triple Seven was was leaving. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a full stream or anything like that. You were yeah. hyped for the zoo there, weren't you? <laughs> Edinburgh Zoo, yeah, yeah. I can't really remember the zoo. No, now that you mention it, Jen, Jen will know if it was good or not. I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, Hatter fifty seven saying good morning, guys. Love both of your channels, uh, offering different views. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, so just uh, Max Manus, which is on the tail. It was the uh, Norwegian uh, Norwegian resistance uh, fighter during uh, World War Second World War. Oh right, okay. Uh, speci- specializing in sabotage in occupied Norway. Oh, there, oh, well, you so there you go. So, that's so they always have like the key figures, don't they, on the back right. of the yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the back of the Norwegian. We have seen a few um, blank tails coming in, which makes me wonder if they're going to put some the, new ones on I there. I think maybe. so. That might be the case. Yeah, yeah. I've been streaming from Gatwick uh, like three weeks ago, and uh, there was I was I think the Norwegian must have a hoop there because I think there was at least twenty. Uh, oh really? Twenty rotations. Uh, wow. uh, twenty. I think about yeah, it was well over uh, over a dozen. Uh, so the majority of them they have had the different uh, uh, different special painting on the tail so uh, they, they, they look good uh, lipstick uh, planes as someone uh, of, uh, yeah. of the uh, viewers calling them yeah so they're good I like I like the uh, 7 that's, uh, seven, uh, three, seven, that's so not as rude as some of the names I've heard but <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say, yeah, say not, that not before, 10, uh, not before 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy Taylor welcome back to premium economy membership thank you very much dude great to have you uh, give you with us um, and um, if you want to watch Arex uh, content, guys, uh, make sure you check out Mac Aviation. There'll be links in the chat all the way through today. Uh, just go and subscribe to his channel and um, and enjoy some more Manchester content. Um, yeah, and uh, not just Manchester, he travels travels over the UK as well. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm on the hunt to get uh, to 15,000 subscribers. Nice. Let's um, do it. What are you at now? Uh, 14,000 and... Uh, seven, uh, six hundred, I think, or not far. Fourteen thousand six hundred, nearly. 
Yeah. Okay. It's crazy because that was roughly well, where we were. Oh, mate, so you already 11 people as a subscriber. Uh, there we go. Players. Everyone in the chat, let's head over to Eric's channel and uh, go and hit subscribe for us, yes, guys. Please, that be good. And we'll keep refreshing. We'll keep an eye on it. Can we yeah. get uh, Eric to uh, 16... Uh, no. Sorry, 1,500 today, guys. Oh, um, so we need 400. Oh, that will be we need 400 subscribers, guys. Um, so if you head over, links are in the chat. Quickly go and, go and click subscribe. Let's see what we can do. That, that that'd can. be funny if you hit it when you're not even live on your no, own no, channel. That, <laughs> that, I think that will be uh, the highest uh, subscription gain if that happened. Because I, I think the, the most I've gained in one day it was like... Uh, 390 or yeah. just short, short of 400 so yeah if wow. you can get to uh, 15,000 today that would be crazy guys be incredible come on guys let's, well, let's uh, uh, get the full community behind it and that's the thing right. with with um, with aviation and I know um, when I was first getting into aviation going over on south side everyone's just even you don't know people and you just start having a chat yeah, yeah, it's, it's just trying to bring all the communities together and Absolutely. help everybody out and I was also very surprised how uh, people uh, been very good to each other when I was in Glasgow and uh, Edinburgh and all yeah. those locals. Uh, sometimes you travel to different, as well, I'm going to different uh, cities. Some some locals are kind of uh, against the people who are coming, uh, to, you know, to their land. You know, yeah. and they're just kind of trying to defend uh, yeah. their their soil uh, for some reason. Yeah, uh, they see ah. something they see as a threat. Uh, so uh, no, it's not the case in Manchester, and it's definitely not the case in. Uh, Glasgow and uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, the like questions coming in in the chat asking when is your next stream, Harry? Okay, so uh, tomorrow, uh, ten o'clock, start uh, from the south side, then uh, Friday and Saturday. So we're gonna streaming three nice, days. Three days. So, uh, depending, like I said, uh, if I will be able to get to the airport tomorrow and Friday, because like I said, we do. Ex uh, um, yeah, I think we're gonna get some s snow. Some snow, yeah, just, it is uh, this coming evening. There. And this kind of uh, stopped me a couple of weeks. I think it was the second weekend, uh, second week of uh, December when we had the uh, a lot of snow has fallen. Obviously, I live in Macclesfield, uh, so it's sometimes you get really uh, the way out. It's kind of stuck. You can the, the main road is it's chock a block, and then yeah. you got all the side roads, which I usually uh, use uh, to uh, avoid the traffic when I'm driving to uh, uh, to the um, to the mount. Uh, but they usually those those roads those roads are usually completely white and obviously we don't use uh, winter tires in in UK. No, uh, no. and it's uh, just you just can't can't drive. So hopefully, yes, there's a plan to uh, stream tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. That would be uh, yeah, that would be good. If you can tune in, like I said, we do uh, stream all that in 4K. So let's uh, you won't be disappointed if you will uh, uh, drop us a sub today. Wow, we got already 50. <laughs> you got okay. 50 subscription, guys. Nice in, one, guys. In, keep in keep ten, subscribing. In five minutes, so that's fantastic stuff. Yeah, guys. keep, wow, keep subscribing, yeah. folks. Yeah. yeah we, so. If you're, are you streaming Manchester on Friday? Did you say? I do. Yes. So you yeah. might catch our flight as well. I yeah, think. definitely. We're I will. early afternoon, I think. Yeah, you might catch his flight going back to the gate because yeah. they've not <laughs> got the snow off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Or they find a generator that I'm trying to smuggle in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sevilla pl uh, players. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would be awesome. No, yeah, definitely because we, wow, like we, sometimes you can get chance to see seven four seven, obviously in in London, but uh, so, uh, a three forty. This is a rarity. You don't mm -hmm. get to see those planes uh, at all in the UK, or very very oh. rarely on a special uh, special it, order. So. It's been like the seven five seven, isn't it? Like yeah, yeah. Even across Europe, like how many airports can you see consistently seven five sevens, especially for passengers as well? Yeah. I know if you get down to like East Mids or something, you might see. The freighters, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it'll usually be dark, and obviously they're just freight. It's not quite the same. I mean, no, yeah, it's still yeah. a seven five seven. Yeah, 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 it's a different thing. Something magic about the fact that it's still taking passengers to destinations. And the bad, the bad, the bad thing about a freighter in, in, in East Midlands, they usually come in midnight or three a.m. And mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we so were uh, we were out at East Midlands, and um, towards the end of the stream, um, we uh, got caught in a lightning storm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, that was a bit, a bit touch and go, that one. But uh, massive thanks to Malky Stoddart for sending in a uh, donation on the Kofi page saying um, a few quid uh, for 
a guest upgrade in the coffee shop. Yeah, we'll be uh, <laughs> cheating out to what everyone's from the <laughs> coffee shop today. Right, no problem. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Thanks. And um, Chewy, thank you very much for sending in a donation on the coffee page as well. Thank you very, very much, Chewy. Cheers, Really Chewy. appreciate that, dude. Um, for some reason, mate, my, my phone has been very strange and I can't see the message that you've sent in. So if you want to post that in the chat, um, please do and Jane thank you very much for your support as well really appreciate it guys thank you everyone cheers all very kind support today another Tui Dreamliner on a taxi out this one looking a bit more a bit more patchy shall we say let's have a look she's off to Cancun in Mexico Tui Flight 172 Angel of the Sky. I'm still yet to fly on the Dreamliner as well. So, Eric, are you much of a, a flyer yourself? I, mean, I you wish, I wish, uh, <laughs> I wish. No, I've, uh, I've been traveling quite a lot of uh, across Europe uh, but it's mainly uh, it was uh, Ryanair and EasyJet uh, uh, I've been to Vancouver uh, once uh, 2015 Whoa. yes we've got uh, an auntie there so that was a nice uh, flight it, we flew from uh, London uh, Gatwick uh, by Air Transat and that was the 767 I think at that time wow um, and I also flew to uh, Mombasa in Kenya for my honeymoon uh, so that was the uh, uh, that was Tui. Uh, I think that was uh, that was the seven six seven as well. So I've never been on a Dreamline in myself yet. So it's uh, mm, still nice. uh, yet to come. Uh, I hope well, I've been uh, on the A three eighty when uh, BA was bringing their fleet back to service. They had uh, uh, they've been having some uh, flight from Heathrow to uh, uh, Frankfurt and to uh, Madrid just to get through. You know, get back to uh, the routine and stuff. So they've been having those uh, short haul flights on A380s. So I did flew to uh, to uh, Frankfurt uh, from Heathrow. I got a ticket for like 220 pounds. That was in first class. Uh, so you know, <laughs> but only the flight was only like an hour and ten, and ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and then there was like kind of uh, you know uh, more plane spotted than than uh, you know than than uh, than. Than travelers, but uh, it was still a fantastic experience. I was just—it was the first time when I was close to uh, to a uh, three eighty engines, and I was just like. And then there was a guy on 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 on, um, on the on, on the apron that was uh, doing something, and I just give me the, the you know the perspective of how. Uh, how massive those engines are! So people are are wondering how this plane can get into the air. Yeah. If they will get uh, next to those engines, then they would realize how much power must have, must be, be behind. Those, and it's uh, mad how much like even a short distance from the plane changes your perspective. Because we were um, at Barton, there was a Merlin helicopter coming in, and we were only say from where we are now to the fence line away from it. Yeah, and we thought, oh yeah, it's it's big. But it's not that big. And then he said, "Oh, do you want to come and have a look around? You, you can't take any pictures, but you can can look." So we walked over, and as you get close to this thing, you just realise how yeah, how exactly. big it yeah. is. You know, it's like wow. When I guess for something like a three eighty, it's even even bigger. Just crazy, crazy. Uh, yeah, it's a great, brilliant plane. Yeah, then the engines are massive. Are massive. Talking of the A380, it is just oh, yeah. over Derby, so um, it should be arriving with us in about 15 minutes' time, folks. And it'll be uh, 05 arrival today, so uh, quite a nice touchdown shot as well. Uh, we'll be streaming till 1.30 today, um, and uh, as it's on time, we're hoping to bring you the departure as well. But a very warm welcome to everyone tuning in. Welcome to the midweek show. If you are a new viewer to Airliners Live, if you've come across from... Eric's channel yes. um, please feel free to say hello in the chat uh, and the community will give you a very warm welcome Absolutely. as well um, uh, and very quickly sorry mate we also sorry. have a quick update coming in from Captain Mark who will be landing about 1pm on yes. the stream so we'll be uh, keeping an eye out for Captain Mark mods if we can in our group chat just keep us up to date on that yeah so look out for a flight from Iceland uh, Reykjavik okay. 
Oh, right. Okay, nice. Roger yeah. Dodgers. Oscar Alpha. Is it someone else? A friend of you. Is it a friend of you? Yeah, yes. So he's uh, he's done some videos with us. He's a uh, AC20 captain. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, captain, okay, yeah. with you. No, no, okay. So he's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. he's flying in currently from Iceland. But here we yeah. go. Two E Dreamliner <laughs> spooling up. This should be a nice, nice departure. Yeah. But as we say, very well welcome to everyone. And it's great to bring, if it is two communities, I think it's the same community, but uh, a nice mix of viewers oh, in the chat well, today. Nice yeah, and busy yeah. midweek show. Absolutely. <laughs> And a massive thank you to, let's say, ain't easy being wheezy. Uh, thanks for subbing to, uh, to my creation. Much appreciated. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, have a refresh. Uh, uh, Mommy, thanks. Let's get this uh, beautiful lady first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graceful departure, wow, and I think. Yeah, we've also got the um, another late departure for the Gulf Air. Whoa! So that's on the taxi out to Bahrain. That must be really oh, wow. late. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit unusual, though. It usually goes out about what, like eight a.m. Mm. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Casual three hours late. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, got a yeah. wave. Randy tuning Did in we? from Palm Springs, California. Welcome, Randy. Giving him a wave back. <laughs> Love time to A320. The wave from the uh, pilot in the FO seat. Maybe a fan of the show. And uh, EasyJet as well. On the taxi out. Jesus. Quite literally, we've seen this coming in earlier in the show as well. I'll tag you on that. This aircraft off to Geneva. And picking up on the ground, we also have the Aer Lingus A330-300 series, which is bound for Bridgetown, Barbados. That'll be departing soon. Maybe this aircraft waiting to give way to an aircraft... We also have on final approach about to touch down, well, not about to touch down, but on final approach, Sun Express, flight 594, which is a 737 MAX coming from Antalya. But here's the Gulf Air. Gulf Air Dreamliner heading back to Bahrain. Running rather late today, like I said. usually long gone by uh, by now and as that goes past we've got the easy jet to Geneva now starting its taxi again. Oh, nice. I'll do the same with you. Yeah. 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 Another wave from the flight deck. And Tom and Anne, welcome back for 12 months of Airliners Live membership, saying uh, 12 months, wow, uh, joined VIP one year ago, and you were streaming from the mound um, with less than 50k subs, congrats to all involved, <laughs> thank you very much Tom, and, and uh, long term supporters of the channel, it's, uh, it's great to have you with us, and, uh, and thanks for getting so involved in the community as well. Uh, and Andy Taylor, welcome back to uh, Premium Economy Membership, saying uh, great planes and an awesome community. Thank you very, very much, Rudy. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, um, well, one thing I was saying, obviously we're pushing our record to get to 15,000 subscribers. And I think at the start of 2021, yeah. 
we only had about 20, maybe 18,000 subscribers. Yeah. And that was wow. only about just over two years ago, so... Um, it's amazing. definitely possible, mate. Yeah, I know. Def- and we can chat to you about it as yeah, well yeah, and yeah, give you, give you uh, any support you need. I think I'll, uh, I'll go for that, definitely. So we already gained uh, over 80, guys. So thank you very much for 80 kind souls who has uh, subscribed to Mac Aviation. Guys, you will not be uh, disappointed. Like I said, we do uh, stream a lot uh, and all that in stunning 4K quality. Yep. So thank you very, very much for that. And let's keep pushing. We've got still... Uh, 300 uh, to 15,000. Yeah, so links it, are in the chat, uh, guys. Uh, if you can take two minutes to just go and drop a sub on our X channel. Uh, very kind joining us as a guest on the, today's show. So uh, go and drop him a sub, guys. Uh, that's the least we can do. And we'll share it after the stream as well. Uh, just about to touch down uh, in from uh, Antalya's the Sun Express Max. Beautiful touchdown then. A bit choppy on the approach. Although the Maxes seem to like not be affected by winds and things as much as the NGs. Yeah. I find that uh, that one was a bit a little bit wobbly. Yeah, have, uh, have you noticed that as well, Eric? With the whenever it's really windy we we're watching the max land compared to the normal NGs and yeah. the max just seem to just go straight through the they wind. Do, yeah. No problem. So, yeah, right. you can see the difference uh, on the on the on the final, especially on the finals, yes. They uh, there must be some uh, uh some I think they were saying it could be to do with um obviously the the engines are more powerful but um potentially the placement of the engines for the centre of gravity is yeah, slightly yeah. differently, but we've not had a, a max Captain on, have we to discuss that one? But We've not. We've it'd be had... interesting to know if there are any Max captains who do watch our shows. Uh, feel free to drop us a message and, and let us know what your thoughts are on that. That'd be great. Yeah, we had uh, Pilot Jord on, who flies. Um, used, used to fly the Max. He's moved on to another company now uh, here at Manchester Airport. Uh, at the time, he was flying the Max and the NGs. Yeah. And uh, he, was, he was a fan. He liked it. And uh, Rod saying, uh, you were talking, guys, about when you first started to stream, but how did you uh, manage to acquire your current position? Uh, we built up a very good relationship with the Aviation Society o- over four years, probably, that, that relationship. Yeah, since 2019, I'd say. And uh, we've done a lot of work with them. Uh, we've been fortunate to be involved in a, uh, a few projects with them as well. And uh, it just came about through the late uh, Peter Hampson, um, and we're very, very fortunate and uh like I say, that, that, that relationship is uh, very important to the channel. And uh, we always try and help them out and shout them out as and when we can as well. So uh, how your life has changed since you have become the biggest UK channel, uh, <laughs> plane spotting channel... <laughs> In the UK, is I mean, I'm burying my head in the sand. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's quite overwhelming for me. Um, but in terms of just, I'd, I'd say how it's changed from going full time is just, I don't know, man. It, it's very humbling. I'd say um, we always knew we we had the drive to do it. We just didn't know if it was it was yeah, possible. Yeah, because yeah, we both had like obviously like full time jobs, and yeah. you know, we, we 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 didn't have the financial flexibility to just drop. Uh, yeah, because I think work. that's something to, to make clear as well to, to people who may, I don't know, may think... Because it has come up a few times in the chat, like, oh, the reason my channel... Um, and this isn't anything to do with, mm. with Eric, by the way. Um, but a few people said, oh, the reason my channel isn't doing well is because I've, I've not got the money that those guys have got. And mm. I'm not as fortunate. And and to be completely honest, guys, we were I was in a job that was playing just above minimum wage for 10 yeah. years. Uh, Andy worked in the same place. Yeah, um, same. We are not from rich backgrounds, guys, and, so, and it's not something that we've uh, inherited. Um, all we did was for four years, everything that came into the channel just got reinvested, as yeah, you're doing yeah. with your channel. It so just got put back I'm, in. I'm in exactly the same position like you guys. So uh, I've uh, kind of I was in a in a good job, but I was kind of uh, you know I, f- I was ready for the change. I, was in the yeah. middle, I started some plane spotting before that, so I gave up uh, that. Uh, job uh, I finished uh, this uh, February 2020 and I gave myself 
Okay, you've got two years, I like uh, to make uh, a living off of YouTube, and then I found uh, just a cleaning job, and mm -hmm. that's what I do at the moment, so I've got a cleaning job now, uh, which, you know, pays the bill, yeah. and then I'm trying to get all my effort and energy uh, to get this uh, channel working, so exactly, Fair um, play, mate. I'm not in uh, from the rich background, and <laughs> it is just, all we can offer is just to give uh, a, a lot of uh, hard work into it, yeah. and obviously on top of that, I got two little kids, so when I, like, every day when I'm uh, uh, streaming, on, uh, during the weekdays, it's uh, so I got the school run in the morning, so I got get kids to school there, and then uh, obviously uh, I get quickly the car uh, and then drive to the airport quickly, then go up the hill and then set up. And so I'm hoping, usually, usually I'm uh, uh, on the mount, just about 20 to uh, to 10, and then obviously you have to give it a few moments to. Uh, before you start and just then, give yourself a, yeah. a breath and a chill <laughs> and, yeah. and then, then obviously you can get up uh, make sure you're generally whether you've got enough uh, you know, you know if you've got enough uh, uh, petrol in it uh, I had the last uh, last week I had a problem I forgot to top it up so uh, you know the, the generator just died oh, and no. the stream just died <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> everything just died <laughs> so it's, but like you see luckily people uh, know that's uh, well there was uh, and most of the people have stayed. Obviously, the, the numbers have dropped for a moment, and they, ten minutes later, I saw, oh, sh oh my god, I, I just forgot to top yeah. up my. Uh, uh, and then you, my you, you catch it, and they, and they do they do come back. But that's, yeah, that's yeah. kind of like the aim of the the game, really, with um, with anything. I, I mean, I guess you can apply this to anything, right? If you want something enough, yeah. and you're willing to work hard enough for it, then eventually it will happen. And don't get me wrong, we've spoke about this on the channel multiple times we spoke about it on the departure lounge podcast like there was one or two times where we came very 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 close to to stopping yeah there was one really? time where we basically yeah. wow. did like a an indefinite suspension of the live streams yes yeah, wow. so we cut live streams for about two three months yeah at one said, point we said yeah. we're, we're done with them we're gonna go pre-record guys that and was all financially based as well because the we we the thing is with us we we, we 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 just want the very very best products and what was happening was we were um struggling with teradec oh, equipment yeah. you know this. Uh, yeah, so and, i was um, i was considering it yeah don't <laughs> um, so save yourself a yeah lot we'll, we'll give you another option um but yeah so that was a real um, and we invested everything we had into that equipment literally we uh, the equipment um, I took out on personal finance to, oh, wow. to pay for that equipment and it went uh, it just was not performing properly for us they wouldn't uh, accept that it was their unit that was at fault and at that point we'd been having issues for so long that um, I said to Charlie mate I've I can't be dealing with these issues anymore. Like, yeah. let's go pre-recorded for a while, gather our thoughts, and just try and see if there's anything we can do. I know we can make good pre-recorded content, and that's when we brought Andy in because oh, okay. me and Andy uh, did promotional video work um, on the side of our full-time jobs um, for companies and events and stuff like that. So we knew we could make good pre-recorded content. And we're like, well, maybe we can just go fully pre-recorded. The live streams were costing us a lot of money and equipment that wasn't working and stuff. And yeah, we was offline, Andy, right? For like three, three, three um, months. It's probably longer maybe than that. longer than I that. I think it was about October we, we gave it in. Or, so, or, or November or something. I think the last one was the end of October. And we didn't do the next stream, right? We, we returned to it. On um, first sorry one we did, to like, interrupt you, by the way, but the A380 is next to land. I'm keeping my eye out for okay. it. Okay. Um, and we also got the um, Aer Lingus 330 as well. So the next airport stream we did was in March 2020. And now you can tell that was a bad time to return. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> we did one stream and then and we was... were back offline. <laughs> so. But that, just before that, we said, uh, so we had an idea. We, we said, oh, let's get, we need some bonding, right? So let's get um, a Raspberry Pi. We use Speedify for the bonding, oh, oh, yeah. and let's let's just go full send it. And we drove to East Midlands. Oh yeah, and we went there, and at East Midlands the stream was just crashing, crashing, it was awful. crashing. Yeah, it was and we were driving back in the car the next day, and me and Andy said, right, it was me and Andy and Jen in the car, and we were looking at this new piece of Teradek equipment, and we said, right, we either buy this or we just stop. Yeah, like. Wow. And we didn't have the money to buy it, so it's like we either get this on PayPal finance yeah, yeah, yeah. or we just we just give it in. Wow. 
and we were talking about it for maybe 40 minutes on the drive home and um, I think we both kind of just said right one more one more try we give it one more try and we got the PayPal finance and that was it that was it obviously we moved away from Teradek now but that was a decision where we were very very close to ending it and that was uh, two three years ago three years ago three years ago now nearly yeah yeah so it's yeah Live streaming is, is uh, as you know, very, very expensive and it is. Yes. There's a lot of technical challenges as well. To, Which we don't realise. It's a, you know, you've got to, uh, I don't know how much money you spend on the cables, but it's, it's, you're probably talking about well over a thousand pounds, if not more, uh, just to, you know, get uh, ten pounds for this, then that's not fair. You get to try to yeah. work something yeah. else and it's just like... There's just always something that needs, um, and... and and it's not just that. It's when you, when you're using things three times a week, twice a week. Yeah, yeah. Just get one. You know, out. They, yeah. they they need replacing. Yeah. They get replaced, and and that's why um, as as you're in a position now where you're trying to get to full time, it's how much do you reinvest into the channel? You know, yeah, yeah. to 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 build it up and to, to get Absolutely. it where you want so it to I be. So I do try to you know uh, pretty much everything that goes in goes uh, go get, comes in goes into the uh, to the. Uh, the stream to the uh, to the um, to the point that sometimes in a few weeks back, uh, when I was driving uh, to uh, London to do so, like uh, three days uh, stream from London, mm-hmm. I was sleeping in the car just yeah. to save money on, <laughs> wow, on wow, the. Uh, That's on heavy. The, <laughs> so well, that, that was I did it once and then it was just kind of a, a bit of a hardcore. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think, uh, but yeah, it's it's it's. But obviously, it's all behind the uh, behind the uh, the money and behind this. Obviously, you're trying yeah. to make it working. Obviously, you don't want to bore that with your with viewers. What no, you, you don't really want to bring it up, but it is the viewers in the end. That, that do help get the channel to where it is. I know we've seen immense generosity coming into the airliners live stream. Yeah. Uh, I know you've got some super loyal uh, fans who Absolutely. support you as yeah, well. Yeah, and, yeah. and we always say, and I'm sure you're the same, we, we could not do it without the community. We couldn't provide the content that we're providing uh, without the community as well. So it does, it does kind of sort of go full circle yeah, in a yeah. sense that if you're providing a good community for people, then... That will allow will. naturally the channel to to, to do well. No, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, and I know that, and I'm, I'm very, very grateful to the people who uh, who are with uh, Mac Aviation, and they, they do uh, they support means everything to me because without that I wouldn't uh, you know be able to uh, uh, to travel and and it, it just to give you uh, you know and also you, once you start getting uh, that support you kind of getting into a different relationship with with your viewers you yeah. you know trying to you know uh, so you get in new circle of friends you get. New New circle of people who knows and who are very enthusiastic about yourself, and it's just like you know, that gives you the uh, uh, the spirit and it gives you that the, the power to just uh, keep uh, keep pushing and just to, to keep trying and uh, just to keep getting better. And it's uh, you fail, you fall, and you, you get up and you do another stream. Yeah. You, uh, and that's like what we, I mean, we 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 obviously there's there's one side of watching other locations and other streams to obviously keep on top of what everyone's doing and see oh well maybe we could improve in that way but what we get from watching your streams is like you've got a very similar sort of sense of community to what we have as well yeah. where it is very important about the community and and keeping everybody together and keeping the streams positive and things yeah. like that and we just love just having your streams on in the yeah, background yeah. as, as, so, as we yeah. work so this is the only thing i'm kind of um that uh, that fact that I'm uh, it's like I said when I do stream it's just like uh, this day is gone completely so I'm streaming from 10 o'clock then uh, f- finishing after 2 uh, yeah. then I have to pack then drive quickly to pick up the kids and then uh, that's half past 3 uh, then uh, get make, make some tea for them or, or a lunch or a tea my wife works till 5 o'clock so uh, they, uh, I'll cut to uh, prepare something for them and then I need to be at work for 5 o'clock and then until 10 o'clock I'm at work uh, coming back it's after 10 and that day is gone so uh, yeah. all the days I'm streaming is just like completely gone uh, this is the uh, thing I'm kind of uh, this is something I need to definitely improve the, uh, the amount of time I spent with building the community uh, with building the pause and this is, this, is, this, is, this is kind of the next level and this is what will uh, you know, kind of the time when I will be able finally to uh, give up that uh, uh, the feeling job to uh, just to focus fully on, on uh, building that community even you know yeah. even, even further. So, uh, so that was a very similar thing. I know um, 
events. So obviously, we were we were working five days a week, but we were in the events industry. So a lot of the time, it would, especially Thursday, Friday, would be late late finishes oh, because yeah. there's uh, you, you're setting up an event, and then potentially you may need to go in on a Saturday to do some stuff. Okay. And Andy was working in the evenings as a um, delivery driver, yeah. <laughs> so it was very similar to us. It's like you, you're doing the stream, but the stream for for us was in our spare time like, yeah, so then like right, you yeah, say yeah. You're, you're very much you're dedicating yourself to the channel and the stream and and um yeah just just how you know you, you really have to apply yourself to, well, to the channel and yeah, that's exactly what you're doing as well right, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's not easy it's not just a case of oh we'll just turn up and and yeah, I just, we'll just build the channel and it'll just be great, you <laughs> know. There's a is. lot of work behind those in the background, which you don't want to know, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but there is, uh, you know, there's a, it's a great joy once uh, things are going your way and uh, the stream is going good and you've got nice weather, you've got clear air and uh, especially now when... And they want fuel coming through yeah. the window. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that's it. That's the thing which you can't, you know, kind of give, even with the 4K, you can't give that uh, fuel of the uh, A1 jet uh uh, to, uh, to your viewers, but everything else you can. And yeah. Obviously, the ta- 4K streaming it takes the stream to the next level. Oh, it does, 100%. Yeah, you know, 100%. The, the, the quality is it's just uh, immense. It's nice. Sometimes, obviously, when we start at the start of that uh, spot there, uh, at the very beginning of that amount, for some reason, there is a very, it's a dark spot for, for the, for the internet, signal. Yeah. yeah, we know, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's weird, you kind of walk and you're on 5G and yeah, I'm buying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, everything's gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you there, yeah. Yeah, oh, you're right. Susie, thank you so much for the 4.99 Super Chat. Uh, a while back, actually, saying, great to see Mac Aviation on the stream. Massive love and support from Airliners Live. Fingers crossed that you're streaming on Sunday. Um, yeah, well, I mean, hopefully there'll be a stream coming from Lanzarote if we uh, <laughs> if we get the guys out on the yes, flight. That yeah. is. Um, Tune in to our next show on Friday to find out if we make it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. um, and Peter okay. H, thank you so much for the five pound super chat that you sent in earlier on. Really appreciate that, Peter. Thank you. And uh, Dylan, thank you so much for returning for eight months of business class membership. Saying, is anyone streaming tomorrow? I'm operating the Athens flight in the morning on Jet Two. Well, wow. there you go. Nice. Check out Mac okay, Aviation. Cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we'll Easy. Be, links we'll will be, be in the chat all the way through, guys, yeah. and we'll be sharing on our socials as well. So, thank you, guys. We just gone over a hundred uh, subscribers today without me even posting anything. So, uh, <laughs> absolutely uh, fantastic effort. So, That's uh, mental. That's brilliant stuff. So we now uh, still 300, uh, just over 300 uh, away from 15,000. We we started the show. We were missing uh, 450. So uh, we you've got you've done you've done amazing, amazing. Yeah. Uh, Keep job. subscribing to the channel, guys. Links are in the chat. If you can go over and support Eric. Yeah, go so over, click be, subscribe for us. We'll be keeping an eye on it today. It'll only take a couple of seconds, guys. Just go and give him a quick subscribe. And then uh, you won't miss his show tomorrow as well. Uh, Jane's saying that she's sent in a Kofi donation as well. Apologies, Jane. Let me uh, let me double check that one. Um, yeah, this is, this is the weird thing, Jane. Your donation is showing, but when I click it, it goes into Chewy's donation. So... It's very weird, um, but I can see you've sent in a donation. So thank you very, very much, Jane, for Wait. supporting the Kofi page. Let me have a check. If you can check it, Andy, I click it and it then says Chewy. So there's obviously a bit of a bug with the uh, the website there. Yeah. And Terry Campbell, thank you so much for the 20 uh, Australian dollar super sticker. Really appreciate that. And uh, that's very kind of you, mate. And a lot of people saying they've, uh, they've subbed to Arek as well. Uh, guys, and yeah. Is Arek on so the right? Yes, this is, yes. Uh, this is yeah. Arek here from Macau. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. And uh, a massive thank you to Andrew and Colson, who just uh, also donated a tenner to uh, uh, to the fundraiser, which I have organized. I'm, got, uh, I'm trying to get a um, Schachtler tripod to, okay. uh, to get yeah. the viewers' experience to the next level. So we've done, obviously, it's very expensive stuff. Uh, cost i think 2400 pounds so it's, it's a pricey one but we've got over 70 percent of the amount that's fantastic already. Mate. so well uh, so uh, we're nearly there every 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 five pounds to bring us, us uh, further to that and it's uh, i already made some inquiries at uh, wax uh, it's a kind of uh, build to order yeah uh, it's like i think i think it's about uh, three months uh, waiting time for it wow so it's okay not like it just goes well, you'll have to let us know when that's yeah, 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 come that, and come and have a yeah, look yeah, and nosy 
definitely. Hey, that'd be uh, that'd be great, mate. So Thank I'm, you. Uh, looking yep. forward to that. So hopefully, we still trying to get the, those pan movements as smooth as you can. That's so, it. Some people are using their rubber thing. I'm, I'm kind yes, of yes. The three left aviation. Um, a good friend oh, yeah, of the channel, amazing. Gabe. Yeah. He he has uh, man. He has different rubber bands for different planes. Is it? He's yeah. really gone down the wow. rabbit hole of the rubber bands. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, he's he's great though. He's he makes some awesome yeah, content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice guy as well. And I've seen the uh, was streaming on uh, last week uh, on the mount. There was a guy from uh, Air, Airborne Media. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's fantastic. He's yeah, great. He's, he's, he's content. He's, he's like the ex like so like wow. You know the, the, the my Airborne Media for us was one of the main people alongside um, Eye Trapper. Trapper yeah. Oh yeah. That we were looking at and going, this is the quality we want. Yes. And I'll be, I'll be honest, we've been really unlucky that we've never come across airborne media um around the airport when uh-huh. we've been around oh yeah so um airborne media if you do ever watch this uh please reach out to us because we'd love to meet you and love to have a absolutely. chat with you and even bring you on the show as well because yeah, yeah. we we think your content is absolutely, oh, absolutely. outstanding top yeah. class yeah yep. yeah yeah I trapper as well. Yes. Yeah, and uh, Fra production as also. With, this is this is my oh. was, this is channel, which is kind of uh, doing also super close zooms, close super close ups, and the, the the quality of their content is just oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. amazing. Because 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 we all yeah. always streamed in like seven twenty or ten eighty, and then we looked at their streams and we were like, wow! Like imagine a live stream that was that good quality. Yeah, so yeah. we had that inspiration to try and push our quality to match that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I still look at their their quality like, wow, that's really, really it good. It is, yeah. Really good. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Just, uh, You're yeah. always pushing forward. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, even if you, you know, content from those uh, channels, even if you got, you know, like, uh, you know, ordinary A320 with, uh, you know, uh, with uh, the airline you've seen a lot is, is still they make it look so 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 rich and so 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 juicy that you yeah. just can't you know, can't stop watching it it's just like it's great and it, I, I, it's like when I'm watching the stuff from iTrapper the, the stuff he makes in Vancouver is just yeah. like the, the scenery the just the it's, the editing is is yeah, great. Everything um, is just top class. FRA yeah. Productions as well is yeah. another one. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Up so there like so they were uh, my uh, this is this is this is this was the channel I fell in love first, and like, I was kind of uh, following following them and uh, their every every uh, every upload, and uh, yeah. So these were my you know first time. Uh, like, yeah. You know, channel, FRA channel, channel, channel to uh, f- to follow. Their their latest video with the. Um, with the montage of clips, I was just watching yeah. that. Like, yeah, this is yeah, yeah. this is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Lingus there, regional, just touching down. I'm going to assume from Dublin. Um, yeah, Dublin. Know, you know, yeah, the moment, nice prop. But on the taxi out, something a little heavier. The Singapore <laughs> A350 900 is on its way out to Singapore. Gorgeous aircraft. This is number two. The Singapore Airlines A350s of today's show. And this is doing the longest flight from Manchester Airport all the way to Singapore. Wow, that's a long flight. That is. 13 hours? I was, I was, 13, 14, yeah. round I was, number, yeah. I was streaming from Heathrow uh, last Sunday and I have seen the Qantas flight QF3 from uh, Perth to London. 9,009 miles. That wow. is unbelievable. So it was 17 hours uh, when it was arriving the other day. Oh, and what, what aircraft do they use for that? A 737-9. 737-9. 7-8. 7-8. <laughs> seven eight seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seven <laughs> three seven. <laughs> yeah, it was a Dreamliner dash nine. That's right. So, yeah, yeah. Wow, really? I, <laughs> yeah, I would have thought like at least. A yeah, dash me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was really yeah, I guess Dreamliner would be a very comfortable air- airliner for that particular route, though. I guess. Well, I think they've they've changed the the layout of it. There is only a premium economy and um, business class on that. You don't get uh, just the uh, economy seats on this. Uh, oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Yus on Twitch, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime for two months. Welcome back, dude. Welcome, Twitch crew. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, if you are just tuning in, a very warm welcome to our midweek show. We've got a special guest with us today, Arek from Mac Aviation uh, on YouTube, another great live aviation content creator based here at Manchester. So uh, make sure you follow and uh, subscribe to his channel. There'll be links in the chat all the way through today's show. And we're, we're just having a good chat about aviation and and how we got our channels started and things like that. If you do have any questions in particular to yeah. ask Eric, please put them in the chat. And uh, we're watching the chat here in the uh, in the little studio, and we'll 
we'll get those questions answered Absolutely, for you. Absolutely, yeah, that would be a pleasure to ask. And we're just getting closer and closer to 15k. Uh, just gone over 14,700. Let's uh, go, guys. So we've got 299 now. How many people we got watching mods at the moment? How many are in the stream right now? There's definitely enough people in here to go over to Max channel quickly and hit subscribe, guys. Yes, assuming a lot of people are not are already, not already subscribed. subscribed. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, question, that's yeah. right. Yeah, there will be um, some so we got that easy jet uh, with potentially the special stickers on. It's oh, also well. the um, the easy jet holidays livery, and that's currently at a cruise altitude heading in. So that'll be about another just under two hours. So we should catch that just before we wrap up today. Um, and the high flight A340 is only one hour 12 away. Nice. Looking oh, forward to uh, yeah, catching one. that. That'll be a really nice catch, won't it? The, yeah, yeah. Well, like, so we don't, we don't see A340s uh, in the UK uh, very often full stop, you know, not mentioning even, they're not coming even to uh, to, to London, to Heathrow. Uh, right, okay. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I'm ex I've, been, I've been going to Heathrow regularly and not seen a, a A340 uh, there yet, so... No, it'd be uh, nice. I've, I've never caught one landing on zero fives. I don't think so. This will be a first, yeah, a yeah, first yeah, yeah. for me. Uh, a massive thank you to Tom and Anne for sending in a twenty pound super chat, saying celebrating our red tail after the twelve months. Nice. Uh, we're in the RVP cafe waiting for the A three forty. Nice guys. Cool. We'll uh, we'll come and say hello after the uh, stream today. We will be wrapping up the stream at one thirty today, guys. Um, it is my dad's birthday. Dad is in the chat, so we've uh, got a few things to do this afternoon. But, um, yeah, we're going to be bringing you all of the aviation action for the next next couple of hours. Mm. Feather saying Mark is chasing his dreams at cruise altitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that when I said it as well. The word cruise has just been uh, changed into a tagline now. <laughs> but, yeah, the A340, it's been a while since I've seen one at Manchester. Mm. Maybe, like, a year or two ago. Uh, was it Storm Dudley? I think the last time one came in, which was, was that 2021? No, it was last year, I think. Was that last year, yeah, was yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and it was a Spice Express livery, but I think it was operated by High Fly. Yes. That's right, yeah, That's we right. were over in the car park oh, for that so, one. Yeah. We were, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Jingli's saying, yeah, the Dash 9 has the longest range out of the Dreamliner family. That's right, actually. It's about, I think about a thousand miles more than the, the Dash 10. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, I may be wrong on that, but now you've said that, that's, yeah, that's, I watched a video on the, uh, on the Dreamliners. Oh. And, uh, yeah, that might be why they're choosing the Dash 9 then rather than the 10. Yeah, well, it was like 17 hours trip when I was, I was, uh, when I was sitting in the flight from, uh, from a pad. It was just like, wow. And they're still thinking about, uh, you know, making that furthest flight from Sydney to, to London. Uh, I right. think they, they're trying to, uh, um, I think they're thinking about having an A350 for, for that. Uh -huh. so for that, they will have to, uh, change the, they have to install some additional uh, fuel tanks to to uh, extend the range so wow um, i know airbus is trying to get uh, on that but that's going to be like mental flight oh man like, not nearly 20 hours yeah, flight not a flight for that's me, like that two one. full like almost like a full day night cycle isn't yeah, it yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's but, but uh, if you compare that to the uh, you know the in the sixties when they had the kangaroo kangaroo trip, uh, it was the first uh, you know, connection from uh, London to Sydney. It was like seven day trip when you had uh, and they just go from the airport, airport to airport, just hopping from the airport to airport. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's from that down to just uh, you know less than a day. That would be uh, you know. Uh, Amazing, but yeah, definitely a hardcore stuff, even for uh, the uh, you know the uh, the best uh, aviation fans. Twenty hours in on on plane. Yeah, be, definitely, uh, definitely. But here we go, talking of A three fifty Singapore on yep. the roller. So the mics will enjoy this one. Just a short flight for that one of 6,800 miles. Back <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, to Singapore, that's right. Yeah. And Mark Wood, thank you so much for the 199 Super Chat. Really do appreciate that. And uh, Pam saying, uh, already a subscriber to Mac Aviation. Great channel and highly recommend if you're not already following. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank and, you for that. And uh, Chaz saying, top notch, top notch headsets in use, boys. They really are, Chaz. These are a 
these are uh, really nice headsets that we've uh, been used on the channel for a while they, yeah, yeah. they just sound really nice we can hear everything nice and clear as well they're comfy to wear for a long time yep. uh, yeah they, they're awesome awesome and there's the Singapore making the uh, the right turn so what would be your uh, dream trip or you got anything uh, in your mind uh, Vancouver for me probably will it yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah Vancouver um, just to because my main uh, interest in aviation was photography. Oh, okay. So just being able to have the snow mountains in the background mm, with the yeah, planes driving right, on yeah. would be... Yeah. Yeah. And you get some awesome like a, aircraft there as well. You do. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, wow. how about you, Andy? Um, I'm, I'm, as a plane spotter, I'd love Miami, I think, would be mine at the moment. It's just like, I love a nice hot destination. Miami, like the... the variety of aircraft they get the amount of heavies they get nuts so and i love the states as well so yeah i think miami would be my my number one at the moment but oh, cool. um, frankfurt would be very cool as well uh, yeah. you know talk about fra productions like spotting yeah. there would be yeah, nuts. Yeah, yeah. just uh, hard to get to from manchester isn't it frankfurt mm. it's not, not cheap no I'll, I, mean, I will be driving to uh, frankfurt and amsterdam this uh spring summer uh, be having like a, a week off uh, so we'll be driving to uh, visit uh, Amsterdam Schiphol uh, first for uh, two or three days and then driving down uh, to um, to Frankfurt and uh, do three live shows from uh, uh, from Germany and then, then drive back so that'd that, be that's, amazing that's how nice. long is the drive mate? Uh, probably it's not that uh, long um, uh, I think it's about four hours drive to Dover uh, then two hours on the ferry and then Maybe two hours drive to to Amsterdam. Two That's and a half. not much at all. Yeah, two hours. So, it's a small uh, country, well, Holland, isn't it? Yeah, but no, maybe it's actually maybe about three hours. But it's yeah. still, it's still not. You know, it's like it, all that you can have from leaving Manchester, and you can be in Amsterdam within less than ten hours, probably. Wow. So, I had a friend at work actually. You, um, he always used to drive to Poland. Yeah. Um, he had family in Poland, and he always used to to do the drive there. Um, and he just said he enjoyed it. It was just a nice, nice drive, nice it's, scenery on the way. Oh, we, actually, this time, this is this uh, this um, Christmas. This is, was the first time I drove to Poland. That, but only because I had a plan to stream yeah. from Berlin, uh, Warsaw, and Prague airport, which I did. Did some live shows from there. It's quite, you know, quite cool. But it was a, this wasn't a good drive. And you, obviously, driving through UK. Um, not a problem. Nice, nice drive. You know, uh, then like I said, you get to have to, depending on what type of ferry you can go on a train under the canal, like which is only takes like half an hour, uh, and you are on uh, on the uh, French uh, side. Uh, if you are on a ferry, then you can have a nap. You can have a you know you can have a rest. Uh, and then once you are uh, on the motorway, especially driving, f- uh, maybe driving from Belgium, it's not as good because you know people, there is different. Uh, it's not as it's not as as as, uh, as fluent as as, as nice. Right. But once you get into Germany and out of your autobahn, people drive there. You know they use the uh, the fastest lane just to overtake, and the people will uh, go back. It's not what you've got in this. Like uh, it's what not, we're supposed to have yeah, in the yeah, UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, <right. laughs> that's, that's always the case. And then you can just you can. Uh, it's like 800 kilometers uh, drive through Germany, uh, which is like 550 miles. But you can uh, you can do that in uh, probably less than five hours. Uh, you wow. know, so it's uh, and it's like. So it is still a big, it's a big, big journey. Yeah, yeah, so yeah a uh, lot of miles. <laughs> so I did, uh, when I was driving to Poland and I was driving all that kind of stuff, so I did 4,000 miles in uh, in uh, 18 days. So it is, uh, was a lot of uh, a lot of driving. That is nuts. Wow. It was all, it was looking, everything was looking close, you know, on the Google map and Google Earth. You, you look, okay, I'll go to, uh, I go to Prague and it's only like, 220 miles and it's just once you start driving then you got some uh, I've been uh, hit with some uh, road closures with some uh, uh, some accidents and you have to go you end up ending up uh, driving around mm-hmm. just to just to you know uh, get somewhere quicker but then you're making so much more so much more uh, miles so but it's like I guess it's with uh, it was um, an experience so uh, I probably won't be like, I'm not planning to drive to Poland anytime uh, soon now, but uh, something like uh, something, <laughs> yeah. something like uh, Holland, it's, it is okay. So that's probably half of the distance to Poland. It's, it's the flights that you can get if you wanted to 
to visit? Or oh, yeah, you can fly to Poland. I think the main airline is Ryanair uh, yep. for you, I think. EasyJet only fly to uh, to Krakow, uh, Jet to also to Krakow. So, and also we got a connection with Weezer. Uh, these are these two, Weezer and Ryanair, this is the main connections with, with Poland uh, at the moment. And we can go to pretty much every, every, every town with the airport, uh, uh, with, with, especially with Ryanair. So yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. I mean, I, I like it. I mean, obviously people hate, some people don't like Ryanair, but I mean, I guess you get what you're paying for. Uh, some, some people, you know, get... Uh, trying to expect a lot from the prices they pay so yeah it's, yeah uh, i'm kind of uh, understand this you're just getting there yeah. right that's the thing this is a low cost airline for a reason you know, so. yeah. let's thank you very much for the 1498 singapore uh dollars thank you very much really oh, appreciate that i was going to ask what the currency is that is it singapore dollars? yeah i had to uh, do a quick google on, on oh, yeah. I'm not mastering with the currency. I didn't just know, I didn't know that. From the, <laughs> you might have seen me there on my phone just checking that one up. <laughs> I'm going to prop. Yeah, the... Uh, what do you prefer then on the ATRs? We quite like the new scheme from Aer Lingus. Um, do you? I prefer the, old the ones. green one. I do like the green ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think on the... Um, Definitely on the A320s, I'd go the green ones. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what it is about the props. I just quite like it on the, on yeah. the new ones. But. It looks quite smart on the 330, 300 as well that we got here in Manchester. And the 321 Neo, but yeah, there's something really nice about the all green scheme. Yeah. Especially on like the, uh, the older planes. Classic A320s and stuff. And Beastie with a £2 donation saying just back from the doctors relaxing with a brew and now I was live. Great to see you, mate. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you well, dude. Cheers, Beastie. Hope all is well. We're checking in on uh, Captain Mark's flight. He's going to be flying the Easy Jet Holidays delivery today. Um, and they'll be arriving in about an hour and a half. So, we're in about one o'clock. And Ian Brownbill returning for eight months of membership, saying loving the stream. Thank you very much, Ian. Cheers, Really Ian. appreciate it, mate. And there we go. Nice sound of the Turkish meals taxiing right past us. Yes, nice pair of walkies on this. Pratt Whitney, 1100G engines. the Aer Lingus ATR 72 this will be heading back to Dublin Belfast this one oh uh, Belfast yes yeah, oh, okay. change glory plops 40 probably minutes of flight of two. and welcome sorry welcome back Loopy for 19 months of membership one of our star moderators here on the channel thank you very much dude Really appreciate that. Uh, Louise, returning for 15 months of Airliners Live membership. Thank you very much, Louise. Oh, welcome back, Louise. Uh, I am back as a member. That's great. I'm glad you got that sorted, Louise, after last <laughs> night. <laughs> and uh, Amanda, thank you very much for the £10 super chat supporting the channel today. And I think we had a Kofi donation come in as well, uh, which I'll quickly read out. And that's coming from Holly, saying, great show, guys. Thank you very much, Holly, for the very kind donation to the channel today. Cheers, Holly. Um, we are joined by uh, Mac Aviation. Eric, so if you've got any questions for Eric, please you put them in the ask chat. Me, yes, please. And my, uh, massive thanks, guys, once again. We are uh, getting closer to 15K. Uh, now, just 280, uh, 276 uh, subscribers we need to get uh, to uh, nice. 15,000, like I said. So we... This is uh, never happened to my channel. You know, never, never, not posted anything, and it just gained uh, 
nearly 200 uh, subscriptions today. So massive, massive thanks to you guys who has yeah. uh, 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 subscribed to Macavision. Like I said, you will not be disappointed. Uh, plenty of live uh, plane spotting coming your way on uh, on Macavision. And uh, yes, welcome on board, guys. Yes, thanks links so are in the chat, guys. Go ahead to go over and subscribe. Um, and uh, Alex joined us on the show today just to, um, we want to give his channel a massive shout out. We want to just discuss aviation. Um, so if you have got any questions around uh, any of that, please put them in the chat. And uh, Luke, welcome back. Crew seat member for 15 months. Good morning, mate. Thank you very much for tuning in today. of Macavision will be able to uh, upgrade their premium memberships uh, to uh, a red uh, star for uh, which will indicate the six months uh, support with Macavision so we're nice. uh, not pretty much since we started so probably th during this uh, next free show some people will be able to uh, get their first red star oh, nice. oh, so it's uh, getting excited for that yeah I remember we had to quickly on our, think on our feet about the one year Badge because we had the we've, we've always had the, the tower badges, haven't we, for the longest time? Oh, yeah, yeah, and then we realized that we we're going to quickly run out, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we hadn't planned anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I what I did, you know, where the red tail comes from? This is like the most weird story. We've redesigned it since, but the initial red tails used to look different. And where it came from was there was a fan of the channel, I think it was called Zach, uh, who sent in like a bit of like a, a, I think it was my birthday, I think. He sent in yeah. a canvas picture, and the guy used to design custom liveries as like a hobby. Oh yeah! And he made an A three fifty nine hundred with an airliner's live livery, and it looked so cool. It had like a big red swoosh down it, big red text, and a tail with the logo on. And the tail with the logo on. All I did, guys, like full credit to him, of course, was I actually got a photo of the tail in, from his design and used that. Wow. And then we we sort of developed it a bit to make it look a bit more suitable for such a small. Um, such small like because they're tiny aren't they it's like what 32 by 32 pixels it's microscopic <laughs> and uh, you had to fiddle around with it a bit and that's where that the, the red tail came from and it looked really smart like the red in the chat uh, and then obviously we got to two years and we were like oh great <laughs> and now what are we going to do like a, like a different part of the engine like the, the the engine cowling or something or flight deck and again you don't have which pixels to play with so then we did the gold tail which I think looks really smart it does yeah yeah, yeah. And now the Wookiee, which was Martin's idea. Yeah, the, uh, the old Wookiee emote. Got a bit Wookiee mad on the channel, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They love it. Yeah, they do you, what do you think of oh, the yeah, AT20s? I, oh, absolutely. I love it. I love it. Absolutely uh, amazing aircraft. It's, uh, I've got a bit of a uh, you know a sentiment for uh, A220 because uh, the place where I used to work for, uh, a place in Adlington, uh, called Senior Aerospace BWT. We've been providing the A2, well, it used to be a C series with the uh, low pressure ducting systems for uh, for the whole uh, for the whole. Uh, the oh, family. nice! Are you involved with those? Yeah, then? so oh, I was great. I was um, I was uh, probably at, uh, because be be before 2015 I was just a normal uh, QC inspector there, and I gone into management. But uh, uh, so there was uh, I'm kind of know that there is a lot of parts which are flying on the A220s which has gone through my hands mm -hmm. that's you know, crazy so it's, so it's, a, it's a kind of nice feeling so, uh, so as well as we got the uh, uh, gold stream so the, the company mainly provides the uh, regional jets and some beast jets um, because we the, our uh, com, not our uh, facility wasn't big enough to uh, uh, provide the ducting for uh, the volumes, uh, the eight three twenties, uh, seven three sevens, uh, needs because we're talking about sixty planes per, per month. Yeah. So it just uh, it was just way beyond our uh, our capabilities. Plus, they also they've got their own uh, uh, circle of uh, suppliers, and you know they're trying to uh, they're trying to get uh, the stuff for them. So, but well, at least you can say you was involved at some point with those. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So it's. Uh, Good, good yeah, thing. I ended up getting a model of the Swiss A220 just because I, I love the sound of it so much that I just yeah, thought I'd get one. But I think this is the engines that were a part of the region which has pulled uh, Bombardier as a company completely Down. bust yeah. because yeah. they've been having so many problems. Obviously, the, the pro uh, project was uh, kind of, I think, initially they had about $1.5 billion for it and they ended up 
spending 4.5 before you know they get all the sales and stuff. So I was wondering if they were going to pick up a lot more of the US um, orders yeah, though, yeah. because of the mistake with the uh, Embraers yeah, yeah. being over the threshold for yeah. the regionals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was they were wondering whether well maybe the 220 will pick that up because it's also got longer range as well. It does. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So but they didn't get the, the, the C series when it was still a Bombardier project. They weren't securing that that many orders in uh, in you know the 14s, 15s, and 16s. And ever since, ever since the uh, uh, Airbus took over the stake, the 51 percent of the stake, uh, they, they obviously they renamed it to A to 20 year later, 2017. And that's when they were kind of getting the momentum uh, yeah. from them. Hopefully, we see a lot more of them. That'd be yeah, uh, and maybe yeah, yeah. maybe even a bigger a bigger version. That'd be that'd yeah, be quite I think that's cool what as has well. Been already requested. That's uh, five hundred. I think the customers were Ooh. these uh, customers which were flying with the A three A two twenty. I think the the Baltic is the one which got the, the biggest fleet of A two twenties at the moment. Yeah, yeah. and they already been asking uh, the uh, Airbus whether they were thinking about extending uh, this plan to five uh, dash five hundred variant to uh, to accommodate obviously more people because they are so so happy with the uh, with the aircraft in general. Yeah, yeah. and the um, it's like the E two the they're so out of proportion the E two the engines yeah, yeah. are massive but the planes look <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, well it's a pity because obviously we also have been also uh, my company was also involved in Embraer uh, project as well. Uh, so I've been also uh, we've been also sending stuff to to, to Brazil, and it's a pity that the uh, E2 hasn't got as much uh, order as uh, mm. as they were expecting uh, to get. Uh, so obviously it's a great plane. Uh, but I think they're hoping in the US um, that the legislation is going to change on that limit. So that they can That's right. um, yeah, because push the weight is a limit that yeah, yeah. And it's just kind of So they've kind of they've kind of put themselves out yeah. because the engines are so heavy that yeah. it's put them out over the limit so Exactly. So, um, so yeah, it's something to keep an eye on, but I mean both for us the E two and the uh, A220 for us are, are highlights to see on the channel because they just yeah. sound so good. Yep. I think the A3 tw- A220 looks the best out of the two, in my opinion. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a baby A350, in my opinion. Like, minus the winglets. Like, the yeah, kind of nose it's, and front-on shape is very similar. It's got a futuristic uh, shape and very kind. Yeah, yeah. I do love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mega, isn't it? And David in the chat saying, uh, good morning, Alliance Live. I see you have Eric with you. We certainly do. There he is. Uh, hello, how are you? <laughs> good, to, good to see you guys, all guys. Yeah, Eric, uh, being kind enough to join us as a guest on our Wednesday shows. Yeah. Uh, we try and bring a guest on every now and again on the Wednesdays. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're just here having a good chat about aviation and our channels and um, trying to bring our communities together as well. Absolutely. Yep. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, guys, once again. Thanks for, yeah, uh, thanks for coming, mate. For the invite. No, no, it's, uh, the pleasure is mine. Excellent it's, uh, stuff. No, it's been a been a nice day. It's uh, nice, nice, it's nice and dry weather wise. At least we got a good yeah, view as well. You're lucky. Let's have a look uh, for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not looking uh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you want to show you on a look? Yeah. Right? So you okay. get, uh, I know. I, we just don't even look at the weather anymore. It's got to be uh, rain and snow together. Uh, one degree uh, Celsius. Uh, real feel it's minus two, minus three tomorrow. <laughs> So it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. <laughs> hey, if, if you want to leave early and go and do your show today, man, we won't, won't be offended, you know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Pretty sure how it is. Sometimes you get uh, days like that, but I, for some reason, you probably know that from yourself, uh, the, the worse weather gets, the more viewers it attracts to uh, to the channel, and yeah. uh, it's just uh, you you are just a connection between uh, you know uh, uh, you know the, the the airport and some people who wants to see what's going on. Well, that's it. And we've had that a lot of people in the chat. Um, I'm sure the same for you. Just saying, like, thanks for doing the yeah. stream because I I can't get to the airport or Absolutely. because of my health I can't get out the house yeah. very much. And and you're able to bring what I used to do when I was younger to to the TV. And um, there's a lot of appreciation for it as well. And uh, like you say, we're just there just to just to hopefully Im- improve with our commentary and um, yeah, bring yeah, the pictures as well. To, uh, that's what it's always, it, yeah, we get those uh, thank you messages, and it just you know just makes you feel uh, yeah. so good, you know. And it, that means uh, they mean absolutely everything to uh, to us. So yeah, kind yeah. of, and, and and I think one of the things to to touch on as well because you you probably have this is obviously. There's there's a lot in terms of um, when those messages come in, it, it it can help you as a streamer a lot as well because 
don't forget, like when when we turn up here, we're we're live on every Wednesday, every Sunday. You've got your days, which are yeah. uh, um, you've got some set in stone. And there are going to be days where, as a streamer, you turn up and you may not feel like, oh, yeah. I didn't sleep well last night, or this has happened, and I'm not really feeling great. And you've got to come on camera. And you're going to be right, right. Stream started. Right, everyone, you're happy, you're welcome. And yeah, yeah. when you get those messages coming in, like, oh, thanks for that, thanks for that, you think, oh, yeah, well, it was definitely worth Absolutely, the effort yeah. to, to do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't even feel that you want to walk out from uh, from uh, from the bed, you know, sometimes, yeah. and you just say, yeah, you feel down. And, you, and you, especially when you um, know it's going to be cold the, or wet. Yes, all well, that makes everything yeah. so much more uh, difficult. But like I said, it's uh, it's uh, well uh, well uh, worth it, and it's just when you get those... Uh, those messages and you kind of uh, yeah. you realize you get, it's kind you get of a new something boost bigger of, than boost yeah. of energy and then yeah it does uh, it makes you feel um, uh, better and uh, things are going you know the bad things the bad mind the bad thoughts are going away yeah exactly yeah yeah stuff. so yeah. <clears throat> We've got the High Fly A340 less than an hour away now. Mm, awesome. So that's uh, about 55 minutes. It's just over the. Uh, uh, well, just south of uh, Ireland at the moment. Is that uh, pinging up as coming into Manchester? Because correct, yeah, it so, is. Okay, yeah, um, high fly. Uh, the, the ah, I see it now. Fly, okay, yeah, south of Ireland. Um, Strange route in that, isn't it? It's gone quite wide over the Bay of Biscay. The, yeah. Yep. So three Lima four three one is the call sign. A three forty three hundred nine Hotel Tango Quebec Yankee on the reg. Uh, and it's bringing a Spanish football team up to uh, up up to uh, Manchester to play Manchester United, mm. which I'm sure Man U will be in high spirits after their <laughs> game the other day. Yes, oh, yeah. maybe. Uh, I was I was uh, <laughs> I was on the phone call with my dad actually when that game was on, and uh, he wasn't very happy. He was watching it, and uh, I think it was five nil at the time. And while wow. we were on the phone, it went to say, sick. No, I can't believe. It. Oh. And then uh, I, we we finished the call. Went right. I'll speak to you tomorrow. I put the phone down. Within ten seconds, he went seven nil. Seven nil. You know, I was uh, I was having a I was having a, a tea after the London Heathrow stream on Sunday, and I was it was a bit of a F1 first, and then they've uh, changed that to uh, to the United game. And it was. Uh, like 40th minute, I've, I, they, I don't go something, uh, to do something else, and it was still nil nil, and then mm -hmm. I've, uh, get into it and said, okay, one nil to the half time, so okay, maybe the game will, will kick off, and, uh, cause no, I definitely I'm not, did. I'm not, I'm not much into, uh, <laughs> I'm not much into uh, football, but I do kind of support Manchester United. Yeah, same as me. Yeah. And that was even before, you know, it, I think when they win the, the treble in 1999, that's one. That's when I fall in love with the way they played, and it was just, you know, so, so good, uh, good, good to watch football. And it just like, you know, it, it, that was the time before I even knew I will, you know, I'll be living uh, just outside of Manchester. Uh, so yeah. it was. Uh, I remember yeah. when uh, when they won the travel. Actually, we we used to go to um, we used to have a club near ours which had like cricket and tennis, and you go down there and like be social and and uh, do all that. And um, I remember uh, everyone went there to watch the travel to see if they would do it. And uh, all I wanted to do was go outside and play with my friends, like on the field. Well, no. You go and just play football or yeah, cricket yeah. or whatever. That's and everyone was like, "No, you have to watch this game of football. Like <laughs> it's really important." And in the end, we just went out and and played. And I was like. You do realise how important that game of football was. You just missed, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't see it. I was out just playing cricket with yeah, my yeah, friends, no, I, no, <laughs> didn't watch it. No, it's uh, brilliant stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was uh, that's when the legend was made. I think on on, on that. Yeah, game. I do remember like the the Dwight York and Andy Cole yeah. kind of uh, the two forwards, and that's yeah, a, yeah, that's the yeah, United. That I remember, but again, similar to you, really. I I kind of support Man United indirectly because my dad supports United, and my dad's friends mostly support United as well. So, and I don't mind watching the big games, especially like uh -huh. the um, when the World Cups on. I like watching England play. But I wouldn't say by any stretch I'm, oh, okay. a, I'm a football fan really. I just I just like to. I've been I've been to Old Trafford once this year. So okay, uh, I've been there. They, they played. Uh, what was it? The can't remember. Uh, some team from London. Uh, they won uh, two one. 
Uh, so that was a good. So I usually go. I think at these days, uh, once uh, once a year, I would uh, go and visit Old Trafford just to see the ground, to feel the spirit and feel uh, uh, the atmosphere of uh, of, uh, of the football ground. It's, it's, it's yeah. huge, isn't it? Yeah, huge. Yes, it's and huge. Uh, a message coming in from Amy Rowan saying uh, saying I'll be honest, I suffer with uh, severe anxiety and agoraphobia, um, and I'm on my own till 5 p.m. So streams such as this uh, with a great community uh, stop me feeling scared and alone and that's that rings true to, to a lot of people um you know who, who do messages and and we're very honest on the channel i suffer with anxiety and depression um quite a lot i had a quite quite a bad period over christmas um which a few of you guys in the community know as well and we really try and champion mental health on the channel and uh we do realize again that's another thing that how much the streams indirectly can help people and um we are looking this year to really try and do something positive around the mental health week yep. and uh, we are working with the team behind the scenes on that but uh, Amy I hope um, you're feeling okay today um, thing that helps me keep nice and busy is, is the best thing for me and also um, I know you're saying uh, you've got some agoraphobia which is uh, um, like leaving the house you struggle with but if you can uh, try and do like a walk around the block um, that really does help me um, I must admit getting out in the fresh air um, and also, um, I can recommend a, a great book as well um, by someone called David Burns, um, and it's called Feeling Good. And um, he was one of the pioneers of cognitive behavioural therapy. And um, in that book, there's lots of um, there's lots of useful uh, exercises, written exercises which you can do. And uh, I started reading that over Christmas, and I found it very, very helpful. So um, we'll get some links to that on the command actually, because I think that book's really important and it'll help a lot of people. So, um, but check it out; it's available on Amazon, um, and it's David Burns feeling good. If you do have any sort of anxiety or depression or anything like that, check that book out guys because it's got some really useful um written exercises to do and i think that's important with stuff like that it's not just a case of just reading and taking it in if you're actually doing something like writing things out and following the steps along yeah. it can give you a better understanding of, of everything like that so um i'll get a link to the mods and we'll get that out in the chat for you guys if any of you do want to purchase that it's something i've used and i definitely uh, definitely uh -huh. recommend that Okay, uh, great. Uh, I mean, it's, it's great that the uh, mental health problems are not uh, the taboo these days, and yeah. people are uh, openly talking about these. Uh, and this is also very, very important. Obviously, it's kind of, especially for for, for men, it's you know talking about your feelings. It's it used to be kind of seen as like kind of uh, you know. Uh, can't talk yeah, about this, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because you have to stay strong. You get to do this, you get to do that, and it's, uh, you know, it just uh, gets on to everyone. And um, yeah, so I mean, that's it. And a, and a lot of people may look at people like uh, like us, Eric, and, and people like yourself. Oh, look at these guys! Like they're out streaming thousands yeah. of people. They they must be like. You know, the exactly. guys, they've yeah, got yeah. no troubles, no nothing. And, and that's yeah. not true, guys. No, no. Um, everyone's got things which they deal with. And obviously, uh, some people do struggle a lot more than, than others. And um, if we can talk about it um, on our streams with an audience of a few thousand people, then that's super important. Absolutely, and yeah, and yeah. from doing that, we see just from the people watching in the chat how, uh, how many people um, it helps, you know, just to, to be discussing that. Uh, um, absolutely, like this is something I relate to very, very personally because I also been having problem with depression and anxiety. Yeah, I had problems with uh, uh, of alcohol, so yeah. I had to uh, stop drinking because I couldn't control myself. Uh, so, uh, and obviously, that alcohol been present in my life for many, many years. So mm -hmm. that has triggered uh, uh, an anxiety and depression. And you when know, you try to, to step yeah, away yeah, from yeah. that, so yeah, obviously. You, Taking something out of your, uh, you know, daily uh, routine. Well, I, was, I wasn't, I wasn't drinking daily, but it was like a weekend thing. For, you, for yeah, me, you realised that it was, uh, and then just like taking it away and just trying to, you know, balance your emotions and trying to understand how your uh, body was. I mean, it's just like it was a, a rough, uh, a rough ride. So uh, definitely, guys, it's uh, it's not, uh, it's nothing bad about speaking about it. And no, it's, uh, I think it's actually really important because. Um, for me, I, I, I've always, I've, I've always been very open about it. I've not, it's not something that I struggle to talk about and it's not something that I want to not talk about either. Mm. Um, it, it's, it needs, um, a lot of eyes on it and, um, 
there's a lot of things happening with with um, behind the scenes. You know, uh, the way they treat people is getting a lot better. Um, the types of medication that they may offer you get a lot better as well. Yep. And I think, like with anything, like you say, Eric, that, that making it publicly, um, you know, public knowledge and, and making people aware of it is always super, super important. Yep. Because I think there's a there's a tendency to kind of be very inward thinking with yeah. that and you think, I'm the only one who must well, exactly. have this well, once you're bringing that up then you can people approaching you to tell you yeah this oh well this worked for me and yeah, that worked for you I've got a problem you know? with this yeah. and I didn't want to talk about this because I yeah. feel you know embarrassed and shy and then you know once you get know someone who one of your you know inner circle is has openly talking about it and yeah. just trigger you to, to be more open about it so exactly yeah it's super yeah. it is really really important and um yeah, on our channel and I'm sure on your channel as yeah, well. It's absolutely. always something to, uh, to to be open about. And it is great as well that, um, like I say, uh, you guys are, are getting some benefit from the channel as well and it is helping you. So thanks for letting us know about that. And uh, keep talking about it, guys, in the chat. It's, uh, it's not a taboo subject uh, whatsoever here on the channel. And, and another one that was mentioned was loneliness as well. And that's something that can affect so many people. And you don't realise how much it can get to someone as well. Yeah, um, and that's another reason why we've always been a big fan of like communities and making sure people are as connected as they can be. You know, with like bringing people together with like the love of a certain a certain thing, whether it's like a hobby or a sport, or in this case, plane spotting or just aviation or travel in general. Right? It's like yeah, just having people to talk to is like a great thing. That's it, and and that's why the community on the channel is just really important and. And building a community, and Eric, as we, as we said earlier on, is 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 taking a very similar step in that area as well. The the community is is what drives the channel and and keeps everyone chatting, and and you 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 building that community around yeah. the channel as well, Absolutely. which is which is really important. And so um, is this always about? It, obviously, like so we talk about this. It's about people who are in the channel. It's not about me mm -hmm. and you. Yeah. Uh, it never will be. And it's all always about you guys. And it's about you guys coming back to and have a chat and have a, you building your own uh, friendships and uh, you, you know your own uh, you know the, uh, relations with with the people who are uh, joining the the chat. And it's that's that's the beauty of uh, of uh, plane spotting community. And it's uh, yes, it's just uh, yeah. I've learned that since I like, since I was uh, started doing these. Uh, uh, these live shows because obviously when you're just uploading normal plane spotting video you don't get as much engagement mm -hmm. uh, and you, you know people are not as as, as open and it's, uh, it's a different type of uh, content you are uploading then to, to, to YouTube so yeah definitely yeah uh, yeah, and I think channels working together as well because I think there is a tendency and, and, and we've been honest on the channel and, and again today that the we we were the only uh, channel regularly streaming at Manchester for for a while, yeah. and now there's I'd say five yeah. five or six maybe, yeah. and there is that tendency to go oh whoa we've got to we've got to protect what we've got yeah, and yeah. and God like maybe they're going to take some of the viewers and this yeah. that the other and and in the beginning I'll, I, I've I, we've obviously said things that we shouldn't have said about certain channels yeah. some things we have said maybe we stand by but there's other things we we certainly yeah. uh, wish we. We hadn't said that. Now it's kind of we're lucky enough in let's say a year, a year or so later, to be like, you know what? It's actually better for everybody to be really working, working well together, and um, yeah. and just working together to build it up. Because at the end of the day, you're all building up the Manchester yes, audience. That's right. Do you know what I mean? And and if if you build in the Manchester audience, then there's more for everybody to yeah, tune in. Yeah, absolutely. So to more growth that uh, Eric gets means potentially more growth for us and then vice versa as well you know because more people are discovering manchester live aviation stuff yeah. yeah because people may not know about airliners live but they go on youtube and they get recommended eric's video yeah. and they go oh well actually manchester is quite cool there's quite yeah. a lot going on i might look at that's eric's right. not live today who else is live yeah, you know yeah, and, and that's how it works that's, that's how it. that's how it works and it is very easy and like i say we've done it as well to just fall into the trap of you know, just, um, just I, trying I, to be negative, and, and it just it just doesn't. I, help. I think Man 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 Manchester is, is in a unique position as an airport that they have uh, more than one uh, 4K streamers. We, mm -hmm. Most of the airports they 
they have they luckily they got one uh, 4K yeah. live streamer. Yeah. Obviously, there is a lot of uh, uploads 4K. That's that's kind of standard now. But uh, there is not many airports with uh, 4K streaming full stop. But um, yeah. you could, but you get Manchester with uh, at least at least at least three. I think. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, and it's it's great. I mean, like I say, we we have uh, we we love Simon's content. Simon Low. He streams from the south side. Um, obviously, your content as well. Yeah. We have them on in the background while uh, while we're working in the office. And even for us, we just enjoy seeing what's going on at Manchester whilst we're not here. And yeah, um, yeah, it's cool that, um, like I say, that you've come on the show today. Hopefully, we can. Ex- I think we already have extended that uh, invitation um, to Simon. Uh, not formally, but we've, we've said you're more than welcome to join us. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we can uh, we can welcome Simon on the show as well soon. And, yeah, um, like like some some drama, especially that might be happening at the airport. You want to keep tabs on, you know, like yep. when Simon Low caught that uh, Cathay Pacific with the yes, do you remember with, that? The when seized that brakes pulled up there. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. We were there on that day, weren't we? But we 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 left just before that happened. That's right. Yeah, the coldest day of the year. Air France, A321, nice catch, guys. Usually don't see a 21 from Air France that often. Special treat today. But uh, lots of links in the chat to Arex channel, guys, Mac Aviation. Please go ahead and uh, give him a subscribe, please. Thanks, Uh, man. Let's try and get him to 15k if we can today. It's going to be... a challenge. Uh, going to be so a push. We got 200 already today, and we That's got. Amazing, and we need another uh, 250 or 51 to be precise. But fantastic guys, thank you for. Uh, yep. For uh, those keep subbing to uh, to our channel, guys. That would be uh, massively appreciated. Yep. Speaking of Air France, we were talking about the A220 earlier. There was a period of time, a couple of months ago, where they were sending the A220s with Air France, and uh, we've seen a couple, and um, they look really smart actually in the Air France livery. I'm not the biggest fan of the Air France standard scheme, yeah, it's but um, on the A220s, it looks really good. It fits the A220 so mm-hmm. well. Um, and we also had, uh, you were talking about Air Baltic as well. We had them at Manchester for a short while as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think with the, the conflict in Ukraine and things, I think a lot of their routes have uh, slowed down a lot. Um, like Manchester, for instance. But... Um, now we just got the the one regular A220 with Swiss, yeah. Which uh, we've looked at the prices of flying on; it is not cheap. I would, uh, no, I would not, love to have me. a fly on that. I think I would, yeah. I would give that a go for sure. I would. Plane Viz, welcome back. Uh, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Although I know you've been watching for a while, mate. Thank you very much for supporting the channel today. Really appreciate that. And we've got the Andre on the roll. Nice, I like that. Nice, mate. Have you been on the RJ? Oh No, no. We looked to go on it um, to get down to Cornwall for the space launch, but um, it, it was fully booked, unfortunately. Yes. Oh. Well, it's funny actually uh, that space launch stream because yeah, we were looking at just going there just to see it. Now there wasn't much to see on the ground, although you're seeing the aircraft depart. It was night time, so there wasn't a lot to see on the ground. So I did add to my basket Logan Air tickets to go to Cornwall to film it or just to be there. And um, I had to kind of look around, make sure like the price was okay and see if we actually wanted to do it. And by the time I went back just a few hours later, it was sold out. So Flybe was another option, but they were a lot more expensive on that route. And Flybe didn't come as default with luggage as well, whereas Thingy did. We could have oh. drove down as well, but again... You only really see it if it was at daytime for sure, but because it was a night launch, it was a bit uh you couldn't see a lot on the ground. Yeah, it was a bit of a risk, wasn't it? We weren't sure how much we'd be able to see, what sort oh, yeah. of view you'd be able to get. Yeah. Um but in the end I think what we did was was great and we yes. can look to look to improve on that as well. Yep. France, A321, heading back to Paris, a uh, flight of 366 miles. Great to see a 21 uh, operating that flight today. And a Pegasus 737 touchdown in the midst of all of that. I'm going to jump onto radar and see how far away the A340 is. 
Yeah, not too long to wait, I don't think, no. It is taking a strange line, isn't it? <laughs> very strange flight in. It's kind of gone very wide over the mm. Bay of Biscay, and it's now so, uh, south of Ireland, which uh, does seem the long way round for mm -hmm, sure. Definitely. Yeah, it's not flying as the crow flies. It's No. It's, Robin, it's a... welcome back to nine months of business class saying, great to see Eric. Uh, I love his streams as well as Airliners Live from Robin. Thanks, Robin. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. But yeah, very odd, very odd route for that, uh, for that A340. Obviously, the pilot is not very familiar with the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with this, uh, with this, getting uh, a bit direct, lost. Yeah. <laughs> Stopping for directions yeah. in Dublin. <laughs> um, we got about to touch down the beautiful Scandinavian A320 Neo. Oh, yeah, I love the Scandinavian. Oh, the new scheme. Yeah, so nice. yeah, 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 the new scheme is probably one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah they're super cool. Love it. So that's about to touch down. We'll see it in a couple of seconds uh, appear in shot. Radar appears to be a bit, a bit off because uh, it looks like it's about to touch and it says it's still at a thousand feet, but I'm pretty sure that's not a thousand feet in the air. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lovely touchdown there from the Scandinavian Neo. Coming in from Oslo this afternoon. Echo India, Sierra India Papa on the registration. Scandinavian flight 4609. And uh, Romeo Lopez says, uh, Eric, I am new to your channel. I can't wait to uh, see your stuff soon. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, so, like I said, we're going live tomorrow from 10 a.m. Uh, UK time. So, uh, please, uh, hopefully, we're gonna find some time to tune in tomorrow. Four hours stream tomorrow, five and a half hours stream on Friday, and then I'm thinking about starting early in the morning on Saturday, probably around 7 a.m., and streaming for about seven hours. So, it's gonna be yeah. uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of. Uh, Streaming uh, out of hours from uh, from Manchester over the next couple of uh, days on the Mac That'd be awesome. uh, aviation. Like I said, depending on the weather and how uh, how you know, because sometimes you get on on the mound and but it usually happens when you got the headwind. Mm -hmm. I tend to sometimes get to uh, get some uh, really bad calls sometimes, obviously, but yeah. you can't uh, plan for that. But the plan is to stream three days in a row. Nice. If, 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 like I said, tomorrow is going to be like minus, minus three, the real feel, so it's going to be really, really cold. Yeah, definitely, uh, got, definitely uh, going that way this weekend, isn't it? I've got, uh, three, uh, you know, uh, five layers on myself. I've got a uh, heated jacket, uh, heated uh, gloves, so it's... They oh, you got the one of those heated jackets? Heated yeah. jackets. They've yeah. been, uh, they've been sent to us a I few mean, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got, uh, it's kind of, you've got the power bank, you have to plug it in, and then you've got, uh, <laughs> How long does it last? Is it good? Is it yeah, almost... I mean, I've got a, a good power bank uh, for thirty thousand amps, so I think it will uh, it will be okay for two shows usually. Wow! <laughs> How warm is it getting there? It is good. Like Barbados. Barbados. You get, oh, you know, get the you know, front and back. It's it's cool. and that makes a difference, especially if it's windy. Yeah. And you've got all the layers on you, but the, the wind just kind of going through those layers. But uh, with that uh, heated uh, uh, jacket. <laughs> it, uh, it does make a difference, definitely. So. Amazing. Uh, Lingus now lining up, but about to enter the approach, we've got uh, the Qatar oh, yes. 777. Oh, oh, nice. And Captain time. Mark's about an hour away, guys. So nice. not long to wait. And the Qatar is the once again the brand new addition to the Qatar fleet in the white scheme. Oh, yeah. Have you seen this at all? Uh, I, yeah, Eric? I did. The white. I think. I think it's quite common uh, for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, back. it's been it coming in a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah BOF. Yeah. And this, is it the new scheme, or is, is it the, this something they? Well, it's with? the board them off um, Virgin Australia, I think. So they, yep. they've kind of like carried across. Oh, okay. They've just kept the white and just put the guitar on. I don't know right, if they just right. want to get it into service yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. do a full paint on it. But right. I mean, we we were saying um, we actually quite like it on the triples. Um, yeah, yeah. The white. 
But I wouldn't like to see them all as a white. Right. Because, you know, as coming, uh, I do like the Qatar, the original livery. Um, yeah, with the grey and yeah, the, yeah. the grey. We were saying, you know, with the um, the FIFA World Cup livery, the purple that went right up yeah. the bat, yeah. we would love to see that kind of like waved yeah, 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 down yeah, the plane. Right. We thought that yeah, would look really be, cool. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah that was so nice. That's a nice plane, that. Yeah, it'd be absolutely mega, but uh, very well. Welcome to everyone tuning in. Welcome to all the guys on Twitch. Rocket Wolf, hope you're doing well. Uh, Jim's pals, Mr. Fezza and uh, Mehmet, hope you're all doing well, guys. And uh, to everyone tuning in on YouTube, welcome to the midweek show. We've been joined by Eric from Mac Aviation, another great Manchester content creator. Uh, myself and Eric down here in the studio pushing the buttons and uh, we've got nice. Matt Cam off to the side. He's not on the cam today. He's uh, <laughs> grabbing some awesome pitches on his day off today. Yep. And uh, upstairs, there he is. There, there's, there's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mr. Andy. There he is. He was uh, staying out of the cold for a minute, guys. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you're all having a, having a great day and a uh, very warm welcome to the community if you're tuning in to us for the first time, if you're one of Eric's viewers. Um, just want to extend a very warm welcome to uh, to Airliners Live and, and welcome to the uh, to the community here. Yeah, it's a bit of fun, uh, right? So this is only five minutes away the uh, the Qatar after just six uh, nearly nearly just a seven hours today. Mm -hmm. The flight's brought kind of standard time. Amazing for, for that. And uh, I just want to shout out um, something which we've been working on in the, the background. If you've not seen it yet, the very first video on our brand new Simulate series um, has now been released. That's our in-depth review of the Inibuilds Antonov 225 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Wow. Uh, that's now live on our YouTube channel. Um, so after today's show, uh, head over, go and give that a watch. Let us know your thoughts in the comments as well, guys. Mm -hmm. The very first video on our brand new series, Simulate. Um, and uh, go and have a look at that. We're also going to be doing a monthly Flight Sim News um, show um, pre-recorded on the channel. And we're looking to bring you all of the latest Flight Sim News developments, reviews, and uh, hardware reviews as well, guys. So check out the playlist Simulate on the YouTube channel. The video is now up now. The Antonov video is so epic. Like, it's so cinematic and so well produced. It's uh, actually Fezzer and Martin who have been uh, making that. Uh, I kind of just had a bit of input at the end, but it's you two who have been doing all the editing and all the recording. Fezzer doing the uh, the review itself with the the, the narration as well. And um, like he says in the video, you know, we bought the, um, the sim ourselves and... Uh, just did a full independent review of it and and also uh, Fezza did a, a flight in it last night um, obviously he normally does the Monday nights on a flight sim show but his internet was down so he had to postpone it till yeah last night and um, uh, I think he had a, an interesting experience with it shall we say <laughs> yeah it was uh, it was great to, to see that I was um, really looking forward to after we spent so much time on the review just seeing John uh, fly that and uh, yeah I really enjoyed it and uh, it's great to see uh, an Antonov in the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, any builds have done done a really really good job on it on the whole and, and it's a project that I'm sure will receive some updates and some tweaks and modifications but uh, yeah all in all a really nice uh, really nice plane and if you want to learn more check out the brand new video on the YouTube channel it should be at the top of our channel I think we've pinned it for you guys about to taxi out as well. Virgin Atlantic A330 heading off to Bridgetown, Barbados. Nice. Very nice. It's running about 10 minutes late, but... It's all, not bad at all. I know, uh, all well and good. <laughs> Especially with some of the big delays we've had. I mean, we've seen Gulf Air this morning running yeah. about three hours late. Mm. Yeah, we're going to try and make the flights and news a monthly video, guys. Yeah. Uh, so once a month, we're aiming for um, the first of every month uh, to release the flight sim video. So uh, there's going to be a lot of work putting that on behind the scenes. So if you can share that around and uh, get some eyes on that, that would be uh, that would be fantastic. Beauty Queen, the name on this Virgin Atlantic A330 300 series Golf Victor Sierra Extra Yankee on the registration. Virgin Flight 77 heading off to Bridgetown. And the Qatar Chipples just made the right hand turn over Northwich, and uh, that will be uh, with us in a few minutes' time, just yep. aligning itself now with the, uh, the final approach fix 
Alpha 05 left reverse operations today. And the EasyJet rolling in shot now is on its way out to Belfast. Just a short hop for this one of 184 miles. There was such a big gap of reverse ops. Like, it's been two threes for the longest time. Mm. And now it feels like they've been zero fives for, for a while. Well over a week now. So yeah. yeah, we get that cold uh, blast uh, coming from uh, uh, North East. So, yeah, it's, I think it's going to change uh, tomorrow. They will be back on the uh, two three right tomorrow. Nice. Well. Okay. Are you, um, I know obviously it's going to be a cold one, but are you crossing your fingers for snow? Do you like a Yeah, like yeah, a snow show? it makes everything uh, so much more cinematic, so yeah, yeah we'll love to have some uh, snow. We've um, said a few times the snow show, um, I think a year ago we, we did one, was our favourite mm, favorite show of that whole, makes, the whole year. It makes everything so much, uh, like I said, I, lo- I love snow, you know, as uh, when I was uh, back in, in the days, in, in, you know, I'm... I'm I was raised and was child in, in the eighties, so in that time we had like a proper winters and we've got we had, you know, two, three feet of snow sometimes uh, uh falling and it was kind of a regular thing. Now obviously everything has kind of a bit uh, a bit crazy. Uh mm-hmm. but yeah, I love snow. I love snow. Yeah, same. It's so it's something quite magical about it, isn't it? Like having a whole layer of snow at your feet and it's, And you uh, see something quite cool as well that you don't always see like the snow ops clearing the runway yeah, yeah, and the taxiways right. so I remember it was uh, this December I had uh, I think there was the v- uh, video my, my stream with, when I have first time gone over 10 uh, 2000 uh, live uh, watchers uh, mm-hmm. and it was the day when there was the runway because there was some heavy snowfall uh, the uh, airport was closed for operation for the first uh, two hours oh, yeah. and then I stayed I said I'll give it you know I'll wait another uh, an hour, hour or two and then uh, they changed. Obviously, the the, the uh, snow stuff. They've been doing all that work to get the uh, runways cleared. And then it was starting f- just before 12 uh, noon. It was like some like seven or eight heavy landing and going uh, straight away because they've been c- circling uh, around. So that was uh, that was one of the, my best uh, shows, uh, to be honest. So it was on the 10th yes, of December. Yeah. So yeah, but definitely, I love snow. I had, had something it. different, done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the day when I was flying back from Lisbon and. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, was it, yeah. three hour delay you know because of the, the snow <laughs> yeah, yeah, the would be, delayed yeah. subsequent flights as well yeah. a massive thank you to Alison for the uh, five pounds super chat saying uh, great stream as always uh, I've also just subscribed to Mac Aviation today is a sofa day Fantastic. due to health problems I hope you're feeling better soon Alison and I'm glad you're able to join us today yeah. um, for our shows thank you for yeah. the sub Alison it's great much appreciate it great to see you Alison at the task fair as well even if it was any brief Yes, and the 777 is next to land, yep. not far away at all, just uh, in line with the uh, 05 right threshold. Yeah, we'll get a recording of this, 777 in the white fuselage scheme. A nice catch, and it's a brand new addition to the Qatar Airways fleet as well. Coming in from Doha today. Alpha 7, Bravo Oscar Echo on the ridge. Awesome smoky touchdown there from the guitar. That was ace. Great love, to see that. I love the tail as well, them stripes. It's kind of like retro style. I do love to see uh, Arik sporting the uh, the Sony affiliation. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. Great yes. to have you in the club. Thank you. No, it's a Sony family. It's uh, obviously it's a bit difficult challenging at the start, but it's uh, once you get over the first three f- few hurdles, it's, uh, yeah. it is, uh, yes, it's, this is the... Uh, my thing, and I will probably will stay with uh, with this uh, with this uh, equipment uh, for um, 
forever probably um yeah i must admit we are big fans of the uh, sony equipment on the channel it's uh, it's done wonders for for us on on both video and and yeah. photography um so yeah it's uh, it's definitely a brand we we try to align with for sure absolutely yeah great 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 stuff um right now with the new winglets is inbound as well actually uh says uh, scott in the chat thank nice. you very much scott that's uh, currently number two to land behind the brussels um but first out we've got the virgin atlantic the road, a330 yeah. which will be an awesome blast off mm -hmm. departure off to bridge sound but brussels is a belgian registered well, it's, it's coming up as Euro Euro Wings. Wings. Yeah, um, delivery. It does happen there occasionally. We've seen it a few times, yeah. haven't we? Oh, yeah. guys, I think it's started to snow. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh-oh. Look there, yeah. <laughs> oh, so no. it's coming. Oh, it's coming no. from that way. You can see the... Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> so we might have I have got <laughs> waterproofing to put on, but let's see how heavy it gets, shall we, first. Snow does tend to drench equipment. Yes, it just settles on it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because the equipment's a little bit warmer than the air, so it does tend to You're melt. good, mate. It's all good. There, great sound. Virgin Atlantic A330. And I believe there are some um, new airlines asking for uh, parking slots uh, this uh, for this summer. Is Thai Airways coming? Uh, or did ask for? Uh, yeah, Thai. Um, I think there was a few uh, Royal Jordanian potentially. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they're operating one of the narrow bodies, though. Unfortunately, so oh. not not heavy for us. But I mean, delivery is still great. They though. do, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, also Air India, I think, is a, is like a big Euro one. Wings, Andy. Are we able to catch that? Yeah, it is Euro Wings livery. How weird! And it's a big, massive welcome to the th uh, to Casey Lee, who's uh, got Chris uh, Dad on uh, onto this channel. Uh, now the whole house is hooked. The daughter's off to sc off school sick today, um, so curled up watching the stream. Great channel, guys. From Chris, we'll uh, I'll be feeling better soon, Casey Lee. And uh, thank you for recommending Airliners Live to everybody in the house. Yep. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure your dad's happy. How you it's doing? Got him out of watching uh, watching daytime TV instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. And I hope you feel better soon as well. Thank you for tuning in today. Beautiful Sun Express. Mr. Flemos gifting an airliner's live membership. Thank you very much, dude. Oh, cheers, dude. Hey, speaking of Flemo, uh, Sun Express, how was your dad's flight? Yes. Yeah, we caught him out on the Sunday show being pushed back. Matt Cam caught him live being pushed back with the logo up against the window, which was quite funny. <laughs> he had it upside down for a while, but we'll let him off. <laughs> yeah, one, the 1D one logo. <laughs> just starting to snow guys it is it is starting it's it is yeah starting. it's very light at the moment it but is, it's, it's only get uh, gonna get uh, uh more intense i think over the next couple of uh days i think next apparently week. this evening as well yeah, mm. to, that's right it's forecast anyway but mm. you know the forecast in our experience it's never 100 yeah. percent accurate so yeah. for example it did say today was going to be sunny all day initially and i mean it's quite the opposite right yeah, yeah. <laughs> dark hanging clouds but you can see especially coming from yeah right let's you get can't a, see i think i'm gonna get a recording of this because i do want to get a screen grab of this arrival it's a ryanair with the retrofitted split scimitar winglets on the 737 800 series which is a brand new addition to the ryanair fleet landing as well <laughs> I was not framed up for that I know all the photographers up here were just like oh hold on we're going to have to lean out the other window now <laughs> looks like Matt went for a pan there you got a bit of a pan on that Matty boy nice 
Uh, we've also got Saudia on the base leg of the approach as well. So that'll be in within the next five minutes. A 787-9 Dreamliner. And where is that high fly is going? The high yeah, fly is now it's over I think Dublin. He might, be, he might be going to a different airport initially by the third. What is happening here? That yeah. is strange. <laughs> that is, um, it's slightly concerning. It should be making a right turn. Right like that yeah, should have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very odd routing in. I've never seen that before. Maybe uh, too much sangria the day before. <laughs> <laughs> a dulled sea dog. Thank you very much for the brand new Airliners Live VIP membership. Welcome to the VIP Club. Thank you for supporting the channel today. And uh, the British Airways in your shot heading back out to uh, London Heathrow. So the high fly is due now at 12.56, but if it would have fly, flew, flown a normal route, it would be already in. Yeah, it would be, right, yeah. <laughs> Correct, it's yeah. just having this kind of a wacky... Uh, wacky uh, uh, Giving line. the guys a tour of uh, the British Isles by the looks of it. Maybe it'll go on to Scotland next. <laughs> and maybe, yeah, well, I don't <laughs> think so. That sounds like they on the road. <laughs> what time does the stream end? About 1.30 today. Go the Air Transat A321 Neo heading back to Toronto, Canada. Yep. Yeah, the sky is getting a bit darker now as well. Definitely. Maybe they're going to change runways. Um, I mean, the wind is definitely favouring two threes. Is it? Let's have a look. Um, if we have a look at the wind sock over the other side of the field, it's uh, sorry, zero fives, right? Uh, well, I mean, look at the wind sock down the other end on the two three end. That looks. Oh, yeah, so you're looking at that one there. If you look to the one on the left, that looks to me like it's favouring two threes. Unless I've got wonky eyes. It's hard to tell. Ah, isn't it it's like that? a crosswind, isn't crosswind, it? Crosswind, yeah. It's a crosswind, yeah. Crosswind we've got, yeah. yeah. So from here, it looks like it's blowing down yeah. the two, three M. But no, you're right. There's a crosswind. So hopefully, I really do hope we stay on zero fives, at least for this A340 and Mark's yeah, yeah, arrival it like as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be. It will be. And even tomorrow, I think, it's going to be still on 05. That's a nice app. Which app is this? Yeah, this is the uh, Wind. Windy, is it? Windy. App. Windy yeah. app. That's one you yeah, use, windy. isn't it, man? I, yeah, I yeah. use that as well, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's like £27 for a month, uh, per year. Uh, yeah. Just to get about it, it's good. gives you the indication. It's, like I said, it's... It's really good with good. the wind. It uh, obviously it shows you the uh, the amount of uh, rain you might get expected. Yeah. But it's uh, like that. But is it fairly accurate? Because we find the map no, of BBC I've, is I've, not. I've learned the hard way. So I said, "Oh, no rain." So I didn't take anything with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got Mate, the surprise. You always bring things <laughs> with you so much. Heavy <laughs> ten minutes, you know, and it was just I was I was so everything was just yes. wet. And it was, yeah, Manchester Never Airport. Again. We get yeah. all the seasons <laughs> yeah. in one day. Usually. I think with streaming, you normally learn the hard way when you make mistakes. You do, it's yeah, never, absolutely. it's never you learn the easy way when you're yeah, doing a stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's never, never happened when you're, when you're prepared for it. Yeah. It just, it just uh, hit you when you don't expect it. At That's all. it, definitely. Sir, so, on Twitch. Thank you very much for the 14 months of Airliners Live membership. Really wow. appreciate you, mate. Amazing. Thank you very much, dude. Sun Express next out. Right, so the high flight is at least turning towards Manchester. Oh, it's good. It's definitely added a huge amount of time onto its journey, but yeah. essentially it's just left Dublin, guys, so it should be with us soon. Captain Mark is just over Fort William, so he's over Scotland, so he's not far away. Nice. And we have the A380 scheduled out in about half an hour time. The wind has picked up a lot, though. It has, it has arrived pretty much on time today because it has left earlier than what I've been saying. Yeah, we've got a good chance of it leaving on time today, hopefully. Mm. Unless uh, the passengers are too busy having a nice meal somewhere. <laughs> uh, next one coming, it's the Saudis SV-123 from Jeddah after uh, 6 hours and 31 minutes uh, flight. Currently 1,500 feet.
And Eli, thank you very much, or Ellie, or Eli, thank you very much for the six months of Airliners Live membership. That's a name I don't recognise. Have you changed your name? Was that Eli the Sock Robber in the Yes. Is that why? No, that's what it is, Eli the Sock Robber. It's just not a name. Oh, right, you know, I recognise that. I, I don't I don't know why I don't recognise that. I would have thought I would have laughed at that a couple of times before. <laughs> I, think, I think we did. It gave me a laugh when I saw it then. The Sock Robber. Hey. Yeah, it was a while ago, though. How many months? Uh, six, six months. months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, welcome to your midweek show, guys. Hope you're enjoying the show. Don't forget to click the thumbs up for us. Really does help the stream a lot. Yep. Saudi should be in view any second now. And there it is. Great to have Eric with us today. Make sure you go and subscribe to his channel, guys, if you're not oh, yes. already. Check out Mac Aviation. Links are in the chat. Oh, that jet stream. Oh, he's in the Wow, nice. that's a good one. I like that. Nice touch. Nice drop. I love the props on there. Yeah, absolutely. Love the trucks and all the smell. Like yeah. The wind's bringing all that uh, jet fuel our way. Yeah, I do love a, mm. a good prop plane. <laughs> and happy shopper! Thank you very much for the thirty bits on Switch. If you're watching on Switch, don't forget to check them Switch Primes, guys. You may be able to help us out, hit our sub goal, and take some of that rocket money off of Bezos. Check <laughs> those Switch Primes. And yeah. uh, the high fly is just about to pass the uh, Virgin Atlantic that left us earlier on. So uh, about 15 minutes time. It is descending now as well. Um, just currently passing uh, Anglesey in North Wales. Airways on the way down to London Heathrow. I feel like we've seen quite a few of them in today's show. Yes. The spoiler's still up on the uh, Saudi end there as well. Looks like yeah. It. In from Jeddah. Six and a half hour flight for that one. And Yorkshire Road is just about to close my work laptop and emerge from Lurker's Lounge. It's lovely to see Eric with you today from Yorkshire Road. It's great to be here, Rob. So, uh, thanks for joining a noisy uh, prop yes. when gone past us. <laughs> it's around uh, this time in the show where the cafe starts to become very appealing, Eric. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, n- never enough coffee. Uh, yeah. I usually get uh, two flasks with me. One is uh, full of coffee. Uh, one is full of uh, hot water just to... Uh, I do like, uh, like to have some hot water as well. Uh, yeah. In between, so uh, it's, uh, it's four hours. Sometimes it goes quickly, but then as when you when you're hyped, you get all the energy uh, from the viewers and from all that kind of uh, things which are going around. It's all good, and then as soon you are uh, kind of saying goodbye, um, you, you, you kind of feel like how much energy you've you you realise you've you not just, eaten and you've not drank enough for <laughs> <laughs> the last four hours. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's uh, you've got to kind of get used to it, and it's uh, yeah. To uh, Middle Eastern, about to cross over. Got the A three eighty there. 
which is scheduled to leave in about 25 minutes time we shall see if that happens but we've got the high fly A340 about 20 minutes away so stick around for that an A340 here at Manchester Airport touching down right in front of us on 05 left Right, ladies and gents, Eric is going to be pushing the buttons while I go and grab him a coffee and a sandwich from the thing. So let's. Uh, let, uh, it's actually you, yeah. There okay, you go. that's Perfect. better. Oh, yeah, that's better. And yeah, nice. available now. Question for Eric. Go on. What is it for the chat? Pineapple on pizza, St. Terry Edwards. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, is it? Yes, that's please. A, a, a anytime. I don't, yes, I love uh, pineapple on pizza. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, do, yeah. It was going you do, so yeah. well. <laughs> and you don't? So all of you right. don't? Or you, all of you are not a fan of that? No, absolutely oh, not. Wow. What, well, what a chat. Is it yay or nay, pineapple on pizza? I know we've had this chat before. Oh, uh, yes, I think I've seen it on, on, on your chat. So, yes, it's, uh, yes, it's, it's not my favorite. Don't get, you know, so it's, uh, it's not my favorite. But I do like to have a, a Hawaiian uh, pizza as, the, as, as oh, it is. Oh, dear. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I, I never have pizzas anymore because um, I'm lactose intolerant, and it means that I have oh, to have yeah. like bizarre, you know, like cheese alternatives yeah, and things, yeah, 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 and, yeah. or no cheese, and it's like it's never the same. No, it's, no, no, that's definitely can't not. replicate a proper <laughs> pizza. Each jet touching down here, zero five left. Yeah, the snow is still rolling in slowly. People in the chat are saying snow in XYZ cities. Yeah, it will be, yeah. People are saying there's snow in Stoke. I thought the winds were from the north, so does that not mean... And I suppose it's from the north. south at the moment, isn't it? So it's blowing up towards us. Let's have a look on the uh, Met Office. Um, did the east into the... <laughs> Banish him. <laughs> <laughs> Banish. I can see more yays than nays on the on the. Oh, chat. dear. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, Look, you've got some friends in the chat. Okay, in. Okay. <laughs> yes, looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pizza is good. <clears throat> um, yeah, so High Flight is just over sort of Talaka in North Wales, or Hill, and it's about uh, to head over the Wirral. Maybe, you know, Andy, maybe they don't want to come uh, to the game because they, they're afraid to lose. That That's why they kind uh, of take yes. so much time to yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. to get over because it just they did took a bit of a strange route today. Yes, uh, the high flight did take the most weird route I've ever seen an aircraft uh, coming from Spain. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, maybe there was reasons for that. I don't know. Like, you don't know what these things No, are. that's right. Yeah, good point. Uh, if you guys any know, you got any ideas why it might have uh, flown that way, just let us know in the... Uh, yeah. in the comments I can also ask Captain Mark it might be a Euro control uh, restriction that they had to follow or some, something along those lines something weird yep Jetstream now rolling with Eastern Airways lovely to see this aircraft already up in the air wow wow and a nice sound yeah I love it and thank you, Henry Williams, for extending your premium uh, economy with uh, Airlines Life for another month. Uh, Snuff, uh, wanting to calm down, keep warm. Thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, we're just about keeping warm. Yep. We've got many layers. It is, <laughs> although I'm like half out, the cold <laughs> bits are still out. You know, my arms and my, my top half still freezing cold. This coat's doing a good job. Some gloves as well helping. I've, I forgot my big thick gloves today, so these ones are not. I've, I've got my uh, um, heated gloves as well. Uh, wow! So you've got some. Uh, you, you, you charge the batteries uh, uh, the day before, and then they do make a difference, especially on the, the, on the hand which um, which you doing all the pan movements. When yes. You know, yeah. It's obviously one hand you need to. I need to keep uh, out to uh, be able to uh, scroll across the, um, a phone. So obviously, I need to get. That they, but they are also quite thick with it, so it's only good for the one hand, which, like I said, doing the palm movement. So, 
Uh, definitely, I think it's quite quite pricey. About over sixty pounds on uh, on Amazon, but it's uh, it's the money well spent because yep. it too, uh, it's nothing worse. Like I was streaming in um, in Heathrow uh, this uh, sun- Sunday, and it was it was the wind was blowing in my direction, and you know just to feel your hands like <laughs> <laughs> yes, holding the tripod as well just saps all the temperature out of your hands. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah, if you forget your gloves, you are a goner. <laughs> yeah. You're going to finish those 3 million if you do, yeah. Yeah, I have some really thick ski gloves in the car, like, but they're way too thick. They're like, you know, you can't really maneuver your fingers. No, in them. that's right. But they will, they do their job. They'll keep your hands uh, uh, warm, but it's, you can't do anything else uh, apart of that. Yeah. Ryanair 737 Max 8200 looking great. Beautiful, yeah. Do you prefer the Maxes visually? I do, yes, over the uh, 800s, yes. I yeah, do, yeah, they've definitely grown on me as well. Yeah. But to be honest, uh, if I'll have a, the, the way they look, the Max and uh, 737 uh, 700, uh, they, they do kind of, we don't see them uh, very often in here, uh, but do like this this shorter version of uh, 737s. Uh, I think we've seen one a couple of weeks back from uh, the Jet 2 holiday, uh, being uh, flying out to somewhere, uh, somewhere nice. Uh, I think they could, they, they, they've got a couple of them uh, in uh, Leeds uh, Airport. I think they've got two or three over there. Yeah, they have, yeah. Yeah, they, the Maxes are a nice upgrade. I think just visually, just look a bit more modern. Yeah, do. Yeah. A bit more chunky, nice swinglets and engines. Yeah. And it's like the, the bit you, we mentioned earlier that they kind of look kind of more stable on the final approach. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's definitely something that kind of stands out. Have you flown on a Max yet? I did. I did. I was flying back from uh, Tenerife. Uh, uh, a nice it, long flight then. It was. Uh, just over... Um, well, last year was last year or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, it was a nice flight. And that's... Austrian and Brea on the way back to Vienna. So we're not aware. One of our regular uh, visitors here at um, Manchester Airport. Yeah, I feel like when the snow falls in the next hour or so, I think it's going to be quite, quite a lot. <laughs> uh, we are getting little bits of snow at the moment, guys. You probably can't see it on the stream, but it is falling. It is coming, so slowly but surely. Uh, any movements on A380, Andy? As, let's, uh, have you... let's have a look, yeah. We can have a nice view of it from here. Yeah, I know. That's why it's... Uh... Yes. Uh, so it looks like the jet bridges are still attached, and there's just that last... Or two... Oh, yeah. Um, cargo doors open. Mm-hmm. The very far rear one, which is for, like, uh, passenger yeah. luggage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you've got the, the front one there, which is... Uh, it might just be finishing with, because I can see... The pallet truck's still moving there, but... So, it, it this still look uh, this likely to be uh, going out on time, uh, which is a quarter past one, I think, is the... Roughly, uh, yeah. Roughly, the, the, the um, departure time. So, yeah, good, that's a good, um, always good uh, to see. Uh, guys, thank you very much uh, for uh, leaving those subscriptions with Mac Aviation. To over, uh, well over 200 uh, uh, and line is life has uh, subscribed to uh, subscribe to uh, to uh, our channel, so that's absolutely amazing, amazing yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. way of support. So thank you guys, uh, every single one of you for, so uh, for maybe fifteen uh, k tomorrow or maybe fifteen k tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, maybe maybe on Friday uh, we need two hundred and. 233 subscriptions to get over 15,000 uh, uh, so <clears throat> not uh, uh, not that far to be honest uh, like I said considering I've not been uh, uploading anything today that's absolutely uh, amazing amazing it's amazing, crazy, amazing right? stuff so right one, so what, what are we on what number uh, 14,767 767 yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good number yeah <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, not not much at all. Just over two hundred subs away. That's nuts. Okay, so that's me and Andy in the, in the frame. I hope you guys are having a good uh, day. So we are streaming for another about forty minutes. Uh, the, the stream is uh, uh, due to end today around one one thirty. As uh, yes, Matt, uh, it is freezing out there though. <laughs> I think it does feel. It, it feels like negative temperatures at this point. I think the, the well, feels like temperature probably but that's, is. But that's the wind. What's bringing? Yeah, the wind the, chill is yeah, freezing yeah, yeah. at the moment. So 
uh, oh. just trying to keep out of the wind and keep warm but it's uh, it's good I'm, I'm enjoying today though I'm loving the reverse ops yes. um, I'm loving the atmosphere in the chat as well it's very positive today lots of support and wow. uh a great way to spend your Wednesday today and a great guest as well Irek thanks guys yes thanks for having me it's a pleasure to be uh, with you guys and like I said we will uh, tr I'll try to arrange something uh, to invite you back maybe I'll try to arrange a little bit better weather because yeah. obviously we don't have this comfort of yeah. uh, having a uh, you know a little uh, a cage on the south side uh, yet it'll be strange when <laughs> summer comes back though because it's almost weird when I see photos of me doing streams in like shorts and t-shirt it's like <laughs> yeah bizarre <laughs> it's it's like wow I, I i like live in my in my coat and my my, my thermals and stuff right guys the, the snow is actually it's, getting a lot heavier now it does yeah. i wouldn't call it heavy but it is getting it's kind of still kind of fine but it's uh never stops yeah and you can uh, uh, tell it's uh dust heading our way that big uh, big massive cloud uh, so the uh, Spermat office uh, showing currently yes, 3 degrees Celsius uh, plus, but the real fear factor now is around zero, but it's going to be m going down to minus, uh, minus 2 uh, in a, 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 so, um, at, at 2 o'clock, so um, it is going to be getting colder and colder. With yeah, the it's the wind that really mm. takes the temperature yep, out of you. Yeah, yeah. Like that, th that day when it was minus 10 degrees Celsius um, and we were filming... It didn't feel like minus ten that day. Yes. It was bizarre. Because, uh, <clears throat> well, that's the thing I remember from you know when I was young, uh, when you had those uh, you know very heavy winters with minus ten, minus fifteen, minus twenty. But you know you know it's gonna be cold, so you are wrapped up really well. And uh, as long as it's not windy, it's uh, it, the, the air is quite uh, nice and fresh. Yes. And also, if if the temperature drops below minus twelve, you don't get any dust or anything in the air so the air is really really clear yeah all right it's okay uh, uh, but obviously that's obviously you can feel that nice feel good factor when it's not uh when it's not um not windy have you ever been in like really cold temperatures like what's the coldest uh so i think the coldest in my uh, been exposed to it was minus 22 oh minus 22 <laughs> yeah so what it, it is uh it was it was uh i think it was in the 90s and uh i live at this uh, um, west border of poland uh, just like kind of 20 uh, 20 miles out of the uh, border of germany yes and um uh we do we, at that time we, we have been getting so those cold cold uh winters and it was i think it was a minus 22 when i was uh, out around 10 p.m. Uh, with my mates uh, out and I think it was going even down minus 25 or something <laughs> something ridiculous uh, later uh, that night so it, but we went outside just to experiment uh, you know just to feel it and uh, you know how, how cold is it minus 20 because it didn't happen <laughs> very, very often but yeah it's, it's, it is cold man it's like it's like it's, you are in the freezer and it's, and it's just yeah. like I said uh, it's, it was good because it wasn't windy on that on that on that uh, day. So, but uh, still, a uh, bit of a, a bit of an extreme. Yeah, that's nowhere near what. I mean, my lowest I've ever been at was minus fifteen degrees Celsius. Wow. Well, okay. Still cold. Yeah. And that was during a stopover in JFK, as I was going to another airport, and I stepped Thank outside. You. It was very windy. I didn't even have a coat on because I wasn't dressed for that weather oh, as well oh wow okay that's not good and, um, it's a bad start and uh, yeah it, it, the, I think the main thing about temperatures that low is you can't feel that temperature your body can't di differentiate I don't think between minus 10 and minus 50 and minus 20 it's how quickly you you get cold and lose your temperature right guys the next arrival as well will be the high fly A340 touching down in these freezing temperatures and the uh, light snow here at Manchester Airport. Nice. A big shout out to Tom and Anne who've uh, caught us in the cafe and refused to let us pay for our Aww. sandwiches and drinks today. So a big shout out to those guys. And the upgraded first class membership as well, Pog Champs. Wow. Legends. Cheers, guys. Short final. Here we go.
should be visual any second now there is an easy jet just in front of us just getting out the way just in time Awesome to see a quad jet like the A340 back at Manchester Airport here with High Fly. Greased it as well. Yes. One thing about the A340 is how the the windows at the back go up. Look at the length of that thing. Huge aircraft. I'm hyped to see the head-on shot of this. Another football charter flight in from Seville in uh, Spain. And the snow is falling here at Manchester. You see the visibility really dropping. follow this all the way in we're about 10 minutes away from the arrival of the oh, sorry the departure uh, slot for the uh, king of the skies yeah the snow is definitely getting heavier now shame we don't see more A340s these days obviously they're uh, a dying uh, airframe you don't see many of them at all especially here at Manchester it's been a while since we've seen one great to see though yeah definitely yeah. Um, so I will when I will be going to uh, um, Frankfurt, I think Lufthansa has got uh, over 12 uh, A340s in service. Nice. On top of over 27 47s, uh, which are flying for them commercially still. What a great airline. Mm. Frankfurt is for spotters. Yes, definitely. And I was really surprised when, like, it was uh, last year when the uh, Luft uh, Lufthansa has received its uh, first Dreamliner to its fleet, like last year only. And yeah. They've got so many different, uh, different uh, types of. Uh, that was uh, amazing. Cool star. Welcome to the Twitch stream, mate. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, East Sider, thank you very much for tuning in. And True Golfer as well. Hope you're all doing well. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Helps us out a lot. Jan, it is snowing. It started snowing. Yeah. It's pretty light and fine. 
So it's not even at the point where I need to put waterproofing on, but it's uh, it is snowing. <laughs> Yeah, we'll also catch uh, this uh, EasyJet arrival from Reykjavik uh, before we wrap. Mm. Yes. Um, but if you are tuning in for the first time, a very warm welcome to Airliners Live. This is our midweek show. Uh, we bring you all the aviation action from Manchester Airport on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, we also do Vancouver, Canada on Thursday nights and the Flight Sim Show on Monday evenings. So lots for you to get involved with, loads of aviation action <clears throat> and today we've got a special guest with us, Eric, who's another uh, awesome Manchester live streamer. Um, his channel is Mac Aviation, and uh, Eric's joined us for a show today as our guest. And uh, we're sharing his links in the chat. Make sure you go over and subscribe to his channel and uh, get involved in our ex-community as well, guys. But a very warm welcome to everyone just tuning in today. Thanks a lot. That's a nice uh, introduction once again. So, yeah, once uh, good to have you guys with uh, us. It's good to be here with you guys. I uh, like, feel like being uh, taken over with, with the bigger, braga, bigger brother for a, for a, you know, for a, <laughs> for a day. No, man, it's, so we've, it's, we've just started a bit <laughs> earlier, just, mate. That's all it yeah, is. So it's, uh, it's great to have uh, this uh, great of a sense of community I'm here sure. at uh, Manchester um, Airport. And uh, yes, we going to, Mac Aviation is going to be streamed live tomorrow. Friday and Saturday from the other side of the airfield. Uh, so hopefully going to have uh, some um, interesting uh, action going on. We are expecting some uh, uh, snow, more snow tomorrow with possibly some s snow and rain mixture. So it's going to be an uh, interesting one. Uh, definitely Ryanair 737800 taking us to the skies here. We also have on the ground, uh, just came in a little earlier, the Ryanair 737800 with the retrofitted split scimitar winglets. So it'd be really nice to see that from this angle because we get such a good view of it. Yeah, looking forward to see uh, Captain Mark arrive. Apparently he's 15 minutes away. Oh, is he? Okay. Um, so I wonder if he's going to be at the controls today or whether. Uh, whether the uh, the FO is going to be I, at it, but I, I think he did say that the FO was might be flying today. I think ah, okay. He said to me, oh, "Okay, but I, I, well, he I, may he may say he was flying if the FO greases it." Then. Yeah, <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's his disclaimer. Are you planning to do anything special for a five hundred k, which is looks like it's coming? Mate, the they happen too fast. We haven't really <laughs> thought about it. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be completely honest. It's um, not something I've thought about, but. Um, I'm sure there'll be. I'm sure there'll be a big celebration for it. Yeah, half half a million is half a million's a big one. Yeah, I think not that we're going to hit anytime soon, but a million would probably be the, the a big really one. big yeah. celebration well, if yeah. we were to do one. That's when you get the golden plate. That is a golden plate one. Is, right? it, yeah. is that the golden one? Yeah. Mm, yeah, because like on YouTube, it's. I think it's a much bigger deal because, like Facebook, we hit a million. Um, what was it like two weeks ago? Oh, wow, okay. And it, it kind of just ticked over, and it was like, well, there's a million. <laughs> Whereas YouTube, I don't know, it feels. Did, did YouTube got in touch with you guys and just say thank? Uh, did YouTube did, did uh, Facebook got in touch with you and just say anything or uh, uh, a big no, deal? No, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so maybe Facebook are very hands off with their creators and things. They don't, they don't do. Uh, no. Yeah, Facebook don't even provide creator support. So <laughs> yeah, there's no. Even well, if the, oh, uh, apparently. Um, they're doing like a Twitter blue style thing, aren't they, on, on Facebook, where you can pay a membership. I don't know how much it is. Oh, yeah. And it'll give you access to Facebook support. Oh, okay. It's like, wow, okay. really? Yeah, <laughs> like, my, my million followers isn't enough to get some support. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. That's it's, a bit, yeah. Weird, it's a bit, bit weird, that. Not... It's a bit strange. But, um, you know, Facebook, although it's our biggest following, it's probably not our main home. I, th I think YouTube is our main home. Oh, okay. And it's the one that I'm... I'm I think... In my opinion, like of all the social medias, I think YouTube is the best. It, g it gives you the best like tools to create and monetize what you do and love and engage with your audience. And the live streaming on there is fantastic as well. Um, so you know, I'm really happy with YouTube, and you know, I'm so glad that YouTube give you that much back as well. Like things like the plaque, the the hundred k plaque, and the uh, eventually the, the the golden plaque when you hit a million as well. Uh, I hope they keep that going for that long. <laughs> and just the one button click to support is just invaluable. Like, yeah. there's been times where um, Facebook didn't <coughs> pay us, and you couldn't even speak to anybody about it. Oh, that was a nightmare. Um, they didn't pay us one month. Facebook, this was like yeah. one of the first 
months that we'd been full time as well, and we were like, "Oh, is this a bad omen?" Like this is, <laughs> and uh, we finally got in touch with someone after going through this really wonky process of, like, basically cheating Google to find this support <laughs> chat link. And uh, they went, "Oh yeah, it's a mistake. So um, we'll just pay you next month. Then we'll just put it on to next month." I was like, "Hold on, we, we've got bills to pay this month. Can you maybe?" <laughs> pay? Oh no, we only pay once per month. If it goes wrong, we just wait till next month. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, well maybe I don't want to put all my time into you guys." Then. And then yeah. that's when we went full send it on YouTube. Wow. Whereas YouTube, credit where it's due. We have our own partner manager who's like a rep who works at Google. Uh, sorry, YouTube. Same thing, I guess. Uh, who works at YouTube, and we can talk to him, email her, and oh. speak to her. Um, and then, obviously, yeah, like the one click spot, even someone like Arak or go, someone right down to is it like the, any partner can use it? It's like the 4,000 subs or something like that. You can yeah. access the, uh, the the live chat, which actually gives you like a proper support agent and stuff. So, yeah, fair play. YouTube's defo doing things really good. Mm. I know they've recently changed CEO. Um, That's right. Uh, how do you pronounce her surname? Susan. Uh, Wojcicki or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Polish. It sounds like Polish. Uh, Wojnad, I think it, yeah, it did. It did. It did sound like, yes, that's right. So it sounds yeah. like Polish. Um, she um, had been CEO for. Well, she'd been at the company for like nineteen years. Mm-hmm. Um, she'd been CEO for as long as I can remember. The partner program existed, and uh, it's crazy to see her go because like she's just been there through all the drama and all the changes of the, of the of the platform, and now it's uh, I forget the new chap's name. There's another another CEO in place now already who was the. Uh, director of products uh, at the company already so he was already way up there and intertwined with the uh, new products on YouTube and things yeah I really like the direction YouTube's going in I must admit um, the features they've added in and I think very soon they're going to be like well if you're not already just a leading um, platform for live streaming there, yeah. is a, there is a new CEO of, of YouTube from uh, 16th of February 2023. Yep. Neil Mohan. Okay. Okay, cool. And before that, it was Susan uh, uh, Wojcicki. Wojcicki, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's been stepping there after nine years. Oh, like, nine years, sorry, yeah. that's the one. I said 19. That's right. I don't think Maybe she's with the company that long, but she's been CEO for. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bit, but that's basically since the YouTube has become so so uh, so big. Yeah, because it got acquired by Google. And to be fair, like usually these big acquisitions happen, and sometimes they go downhill and things. Yeah. But man, since Google acquisition, it's been really good. Yeah. They had that bizarre thing. Do you remember that controversy? And it still kind of is, where you have to have a Google account. Do you remember when that was a thing to to use YouTube um, when they introduced that because they wanted to use Google Plus. Yeah, they got rid of Google Plus now, aren't they? That, that's yeah. gone completely. It's but you still have to have a Google account, but it's not such a big deal these days, is it? Like, because it's kind of most people have that already. Yeah, I think now it's a common, common thing. It's a Google account. Yeah. Turkish Airlines A321 Neo uh, touching down from Istanbul. I know the service that's going to arrive at about half three today is going to be operating the triple seven today. Really? Oh wow, that's new. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's rare. We caught um, a three thirty two hundred. That um, looked strange, last didn't it? Week. That was really short. Turkish Airlines. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was a nice. Catch. I think I've seen one uh, of Qatar came in uh, last year. It was also triple seven two hundred, which is uh, like kind of unique. Yeah, the two hundred series of like, oh, yeah, let's say the three thirty or the triple seven. Like they both look strange when they're on. Yeah, the, they do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the Qatar triple two hundred. I've seen that one or two times. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, it's something for us to look into, mate, definitely. We do want to try and get into some air shows. Um, we think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but it's not something that we've uh, focused on too much. Um, I must admit, this first this first year, I mean, we're, we're into the second year now, has just been so hectic. Um, we didn't realise just how, how much would be going on when we went full-time. And, um, yeah, getting to air shows is something that we really want to do. But again, it's just a time thing. It's when we can do it and, and if we can get in in the first place, really. But um, having a look at the uh, arrival, it looks like Captain Mark is just about uh, on a downwind leg over Warrington. So How is it? not okay. far away mm-hmm. now. Next to landing from Amsterdam is the KLM. And um, thank you very much if you do need to step out. I know there are a few people who uh, said goodbyes in the chat. Uh, I'm sorry they've uh, they've scrolled fast. Greg Cutler, I think, was one uh, person who needed to get going. And uh, Samuel, as well, is another person who, who needs to get going. So thank you very much for tuning in today, guys.
Appreciate it. Yep. It's been a good show today. It's been quite a lot of viewer numbers for a midweek show. We were saying um, we'd love for the midweek show one day to be a multicam setup as well with Matt. It's just uh, making it like viable, uh, you know, financially and things. Yeah. Uh, with the viewer numbers usually being less. But it's definitely something I'd love to do in the future. Yeah, I would love to do that. Especially in the summer when you've got like uh, dual runway ops. Yep. Always, always the uh, possibility to do things with Arek as well in the same kind of light yeah uh, I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all, I am open for uh, for ventures uh, yeah because why, why not because with uh, with um, Matt is it's not like a um, a direct link he has to us it's a it's an RTMP server oh okay so obviously he's beaming out an RTMP feed to a server somewhere that we're pulling in mm. Um, so it means that possibility to expand and do things crazy like two airports at once. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's the next level. Well, yeah, that sounds uh, sounds like fun, definitely. Yeah, there's loads of loads of ideas we can we can bounce around. I think. Turkish Airlines taxiing in here. Let's have a look at the A380 then, guys, since that's kind of running late at the moment already, and we've got two jet bridges still attached. Uh, but it looks like the people <laughs> on the ground are still waiting for the. Uh, the go ahead, although the upper jet bridge does look disconnected, maybe, or it's disconnecting. Correct. Yeah, the upper jet bridge is retracting now. Yeah, so that's a good sign. Not wanting to go. Hopefully, I reckon it'll uh, leave in the next ten minutes or so. That and uh, Captain Mark is uh, just on the base leg now. Will be turning in very shortly, and apparently he may have a certain somebody in the window. Oh yeah. So we may want to. Zoom in if we can, do a 600 mil track on that. We'll, we'll try our best. <laughs> Greaser of a landing, I'm sure. Yeah, do you want me to send <laughs> Take care, Andy. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Pacific 330 that was due in May now will not be coming because there's no slot listed for Manchester according to oh. SPD Travels on Twitter oh. well it's already made the first leg of the journey it's, it stopped at Dubai already uh, it was flying from is it the Philippines over to Dubai Oh, and then it's going to make a second leg so people are saying it's going to arrive most likely tomorrow so it might catch on our show oh, you're yeah. saying that the That'll slot isn't there though that's the thing oh was well, that not the issue to start with, though? Like, it had no slot, so it was oh, okay. just like a, it will just show up at some point. I'm basis. not sure, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I heard. And it, like I said, it's already done the first leg, so um, it's scheduled to go to STS, isn't it, for uh, either a bit of maintenance or whatever. It's a long way to go, though, isn't it, for... Uh, for maintenance. Yeah. For maintenance, yeah. <laughs> All the way from the Philippines, yeah, a two-leg yeah. journey for an A330. It's a long flight, man. Yeah, but yeah, STS really uh, kicking things off though with some really cool planes. They had a Virgin Australia A330. They had they've had a few British Airways aircraft. They've had the Virgin Atlantic A330s in there. I feel like they had an A350 in there, didn't they? Am I maybe maybe I imagined that. But yeah, they've had plenty of exciting planes. At, at STS, yeah, def, there was the A350, A350 at some point. Which airline was it? I can't, I can't, I can't remember, but I did. Yeah. I did. It does ring a bell. Yeah, how did I. How about. Does anyone in the chat know? Someone in the chat will definitely know. <laughs> yeah. Erlingus uh, A321, the old one way out to JFK. Yeah, green wings as well, look at mm. that. 
Oh, they've been de-iced. Oh, yeah, yeah. De-iced, which means the A380 might have to get de-iced, which yeah. ca- could add another, a fair bit of time to the... Another uh, hour, probably, yeah. Yeah. To the <coughs> departure. It's, uh, it's unlikely. This is Airliners Live saying the snow's just arrived at home as well. <laughs> so it's definitely starting, and uh, Mark will be next to land, Andy. Nice. Yeah, I'll try and zoom right in on that. Oh, the snow is picking up again. Let's have a look. Got a uh, snowplow on the way out by the looks of it as well. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you can see the snow in that shot. I don't think the snow is supposed to be that heavy to get the snowplow out, but... No. Never know, do you? ready for tomorrow. Maybe they got, you know, some uh, more uh, uh, detailed uh, forecast. I'm sure they do. And there we go. Enjoy this next arrival, folks. Captain Mark on board, of course. We'll do our best to track the cockpit, see if you can spot something in the flight deck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll grab a recording of this as well for the old socials. Was awesome. Nice. Decent touchdown as well from the A320 coming in from Reykjavik. And the holidays special as well. Nice. And uh, they had the uh, Erlanis Life uh, thingy in there. Yeah, he's put the logo <laughs> in the window. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. awesome. Yep. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll get another zoom in of it when it taxis back past. Now you got on the Digi Andy for that one, maybe. Yeah, I actually did have it on digital there. Oh, really? Yeah. We could do super zoom. Let's just go. Let's just go. Give all the zoom. Yeah. Well, first <laughs> all of all, the zoom. <laughs> first of all, we got the uh, Lingus three twenty one Neo. Yeah. Have you been to uh, USA before? Have you? Uh... When I was young, yeah, yeah, very young. Um, not recently, no. Oh. Um, you was there though, Andy, weren't you in uh, Texas? Yeah, oh, I was there in. Nice. Yeah, I was there January last year and November last year wow. in. Uh, yeah, both times. Really enjoyed it. First time I flew on a JetBlue A321neo. Have you? Okay, and cool. And that was really nice. It was really, really good. But did you go uh, from Gatwick to uh, US? Gatwick, that? yes, it was, yes. That was when I stopped in JFK with that really cold temp. Oh, okay. it was January. And um, and then this one just gone. We flew with BA on the A350. Wow. Again, really good. But... BA, as, as much as like, you know, they're quite a, you know, a decent airline. I wasn't massively impressed with the with the onboard. Like the the service from the staff was ten out of ten. Yeah. The the onboard board food and drinks services was good, but like the in flight entertainment and the seats and things yes. kind of lacked a bit. Like it wasn't. I mean, you've probably seen the same when you flew on the A380, you right? You know, that was exactly my impression. The, the, the crew, it was just absolutely uh, uh, not world-class, but uh, even I've seen, the, you know, those uh, first-class seats. I know, obviously, they got a lot of space and that kind of stuff, but, yeah, they just look... They, they just made it look kind of, not cheap, but it, 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 it didn't, you didn't get that. Uh, you didn't get that for all that money or you would normally pay for the first-class seat. Yeah. It wasn't that wow. Yeah. Like you've got with the Emirates, for example, or, or Etihad. For, so, um, yeah, that was a bit, uh, bit of a surprise uh, to me. But um, obviously there's pl- plenty room for improvement for them. Obviously, if they will uh, be willing to do that. Looking at the A380, uh, hopefully they're not looking for a bag to get off here because that may take a while. <laughs> Um, yeah. Something definitely going on around it. I don't know if Matt wants to jump on for a bit as well. Yeah, do you want to jump on for a bit, Matt? Yeah, just Matt while, boy, yeah. while I defrost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've closed the door there, have they, by the looks of it? 
Nice. So they might have to de uh, de ice it, but we'll see. If not, it will be a pretty quick turnaround from here. Yep. The temperature is freezing though now. It's dropped a lot since the start of the show. Yeah, we uh, you can feel that even in here, mate. It has uh, yeah. has dropped down a lot. Mark had his airliner's live cap on too, did he? <laughs> what no a way. Guy. Did you see that on the video? <clears throat> That's what uh, Tony said, yeah. Wow. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to let Matt jump on the camera real quick. I'll leave you with the A380 for a moment. Yeah, the last 10 or 15 minutes of today's show, guys. Hopefully the A380 will be out very, very soon, and that will wrap us up for today. But uh, if you are enjoying the midweek show today, make sure you uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and a like. And... Uh, Thank you very much for tuning in today. Again, a massive thanks to uh, Eric for joining us as today's uh, today's guest. Yes, pleasure. Yes, thanks a lot, guys. Please, uh, I've left there's a space there if you need it. Under. I do enjoy your uh, your little uh, office in here. It just uh, makes it oh, yeah. so much uh, much uh, uh, easier. Uh, yeah, it's all kind of it's all ahead of uh, of me and uh, my channel. I think um, at some point I might even uh, get. You know, expand, and I was thinking about uh, finding someone who will kind of join me, and mm -hmm. it will kind of will interact more with the chat and now yeah. the, the camera action. And, I definitely and, and recommend vice, it. Vice versa, because it, I think it's just a little bit too too much. As, as, as obviously, I do try to engage with the viewers, and it's really really difficult to uh, to do it while you're trying to pan, not pan the grass. You know, sometimes <laughs> when you when you are on your on your phone like that. It's, yeah. it's, no, it's very easy because, uh, like, when you when you I don't know when one of us nips to the toilet or whatever, yeah. and you you're looking at the chat, and then you yeah. the plane goes out of the frame. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, yeah, it is completely Especially different. If you are on the on a you are on the zooming in, like you know six hundred, yeah. then it's just yeah, it just take you a second just to. Definitely, I mean, having two people, I think is is a nice a nice level. Um, I think it, it just like you say it gives it gives the chat a bit more attention and um, so definitely yeah. that's what uh, will be coming. Um, well, yeah, that's hopefully that will that will the, the, that is it in my head and uh, uh, although although there's a lot of uh, people enjoying that that kind of uh, laid back atmosphere. So obviously adding an additional uh, person to it would not change it because obviously we'll still you know try to. Yeah. Uh, uh, find the right balance because having enough attention to the planes and and to the to the chat. But I think it will kind of it will be it will build that the engagement even further. Yeah. Uh, it's, like it's, it's a, it is uh, it is uh, it's all about people really at the end of the day. So um, that's it exactly. And uh, Kevin saying with an interesting question in the chat: Have you ever worried that if the Emirates stop the A380 and uh, switch to a triple seven? Would you potentially lose viewers? I mean. There is a potential um, that we may lose some viewers for that, but I think we've kind of built up the show here on the channel quite a bit, and the way we kind of run our shows, although the A380 is like a big feature of the shows, I don't think necessarily it's the be-all and end-all of the shows. Um, however, um, Emirates' um, model is based around the yeah. A380, so it's very unlikely that they would uh, be getting rid of that anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I can't see that happening, to be honest. I think Emirates have even in talks about yeah. a potential new engine option yeah. for the A380. That's right. Yeah. So it's all uh, unlikely, but you know, um, obviously the A380 does draw a lot of attention. Um, yeah. As it used to be the, uh, but you know, we 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 heard about this uh, Boom um, company, which uh, working yes, on the a new, supersonic. Yes, the new supersonic um, aircraft. That's really exciting. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? So I'm sure, I'm guessing they will be uh, flying uh, across the Atlantic. To uh, so I would imagine they will be coming to at least Manchester and London and London in the UK. So um, that yeah, would that'd be, be special. Mm, can imagine that. Obviously, they won't be as loud and uh, as. Uh, well, it will be uh, iconic because obviously it will be a uh, uh, super, uh, super sonic uh, plane. It's, uh, it's all looking good. I think they already got they got some um, uh, intentions for for from the airlines, uh, mm -hmm. that's, which will uh, are looking into getting them into the services. So uh, 
yeah, that, that's uh, going to be another uh, game changer in, in our, uh, in our yeah, environment. Yeah, and it's something to look forward to because for us, obviously, we unfortunately missed the supersonic era of flight yeah. and uh, for us, it's kind of like our opportunity to get involved and it was the same with... Um, with the the space content that's coming out of SpaceX and Virgin yeah. Orbit, that for us is like our shuttle yes, right. experience. Yeah, 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 Do you know exactly. what I mean? Amazing so stuff, we're right. looking forward to uh, looking forward to seeing that. And uh, Malky says, "I'd only ever leave this channel if the pork pie chat stopped." <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do talk a lot about food on Airliners Live. That is a a big part of the show, but it looks like the 380 still has the top bridge attached map by the looks of it, um, oh, and yeah. still waiting on just that one to uh, be retracted before it goes but uh, very warm welcome to everyone if you are new tuning into the channel please uh, get involved in the chat and get involved in the community as well um, as uh, Karka says on Twitch uh, first time newbie here um, how does that weather command read well that's called a meta um, and um, you're best looking up online about that. So um, it's broken down into sections, and it basically tells you about all of the weather. It gives you the time, first of all, um, the uh, wind direction and its speed, and then it tells you about the uh, cloud coverage and the uh, current air field uh, pressure, um, and again, uh, broken uh, again, it's back to the clouds. No sig is like no significant change. So things haven't changed uh, very, very recently. But if oh, you just look okay. online about how to read a meta, um, that would uh, probably be a lot better than me trying to botch it together. <laughs> I've kind of got used to pulling out the key information that I need from yeah. Flight Sim. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be able to talk through the whole thing, um, I'd be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. John Fez has put one, put one in the chat for you. Yes, uh, Carl, uh, Matty Boy is on the camera upstairs. There he is, looking absolutely fresh. <laughs> with his Airliners Live headset on. Sorry, his Airliners Live cap on. There we go. We'll give him them so you, you, can, you can hear what everyone's saying to you. There he is. He, yeah. He's set oh, up yeah, now. He's, he's got yeah. the mic. <laughs> He uh, jumps up for 10 minutes just to give Andy a bit of a time to eat his sandwich from the cafe. Sass Neo on the taxi out here as well. Oh, nice. Oh. Sass, oh, that's great. Definitely the better of the two libraries. Mm. Oh, nice flying architect. That'd be, uh, that'd be incredible. That'd be awesome, dude. Maybe when we hit the million. <laughs> Matt Cam's Sleet Edition. Uh, the vent at the back of the A380 is the auxiliary power unit exhaust. Uh, so the auxiliary power unit is a little generator on board the aircraft which provides power to the systems um, whilst the engines aren't running. Um, and obviously that needs somewhere to exhaust uh, gases and um, heat and things like that. So that's what that vent is at the back of the, uh, back of the aircraft. Sometimes you'll see it um, as an open flap at the back of that Airbus there just below the rear door. You'll see an open, mm. an open uh, hatch there, flap sticking out. That's the APU exhaust there on that one. That's quite common. Yes, that's right. And then uh, you'll see that close uh, once that APU's uh, shut down. Usually the APU will stay on for at least some of the taxi. Oh, that's not the Belgium. Uh, yes, Russell Airlines. Looks like the Eurowings is going to take the uh, intersection. Operating a uh, Eurowings scheme, but Brussels Airlines flight. Mm. 
nice shot there of the uh, the Euro wings on the taxi out. I love that view when they take that intersection and it just goes sort of round there. It's going in front of us and just blasts, blasts out. Absolutely mega. Look at that. Great shot, Matt. Sorry, mate. And you, uh, no, great shot and there. great sound as well. Uh, yeah, you're very lucky here, especially on, on, when you're on 22 free right. You get old when they take in the short away. It's, yeah, uh, when it, they come it, on the, the head on here. We particularly really like the um, the evening shows in the summer. Oh, yeah. When the sun comes round. Oh, that's just right, enough. because at the moment it's... Yeah, uh, it's usually if it's yeah. a sunny day, we're, we're backlit. Yeah. But yeah, um, that's right. it's it's something to contend with, but... So much uh, beautiful. So we look at my... Uh, we have a sub count update sub count, there, yeah, right? so it's, uh, we've gained 225 subscriptions today on Macadation without even uploading uh, anything. So thank you very, very much, guys, for the, uh, showing your uh, support to uh, the channel. It's uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, let's try maybe to give us another last final push to get over 14,800. So we need 15 subscribers, uh, to kindly subscribe to Mac Aviation. Uh, Let's do that, guys. Links are in the chat. Head over to Mac Aviation now and click subscribe, guys. Everybody in the chat, go over. The links will be posted in the chat. Please go over and hit subscribe. We'll have one last push before we wrap up today's show. The A380 is not long away from pushing now, so uh, is now pinging up on the ground oh, as yeah. well. Nice. So, uh, yes, please head over and click subscribe if you haven't done it yet. We'll be keeping an eye on it, refreshing it. Everybody go now quick before the A380 uh, departs, guys. So there you go. Links are in the chat. Head over to Mac Aviation, our guest for today, and uh, subscribe to Arex channel. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. And the king of the sky is pushing back there. Yes. Good timing, finally. So there was no uh, de-icing procedure. Uh, luckily, no, it didn't uh, look like the, it, did no, it? No, no, no. It's only 20 minutes late today. Not yeah. bad at all. No. For no. the 380. Jillian, good afternoon to you. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Joanne says, I hope there's no snow in Manchester next week because I'll be flying in from Italy. Fingers crossed, Joanne. Wow. I think it is only supposed to be until the end of this week, Thursday or so. Yeah. Um, uh, and it's it, going gonna to be gone. It's going to be gone by Saturday. Uh, yeah. it's, we're going to get some uh, about 11 degrees, I think. It, uh, the okay. plant is showing off for Saturday. No, Sunday, 11 degree, degrees. So it's going to be back to kind nice. of normal. It's going to be wet, but it's not going to be... Because sometimes in March, because my birthday is at the end of March, oh, yeah. and we usually go to Anglesey or somewhere like that, and quite a lot of the time at the end of March, you get a bit of a little heat wave every now and sometimes again. Sometimes you do, yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. keeping the fingers crossed. Oh, right, <laughs> you're that still hoping for that. <laughs> yeah. okay. It's not looking very <laughs> good, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, you never know. Matt, Matt's hoping, look at him, he's, he's definitely hoping for that. I'll... Uh, yeah. I remember it was last year when we had that in April we had some like kind of ridiculously uh, warmer two yes. weeks yeah, yeah we, we did didn't we it was like whoa where does that come from uh, so yeah you never know you might be you might be nicely surprised Ryan just touching down from Venice two hour 20 minute flight for one that one wheel two wheels and there it is now he's gone Uh, Jack, we, we absolutely love it in Anglesey, mate. Uh, we're usually around Treyarda Bay area. Um, and, of course, RAF Valley as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a place where me and Mrs. Airline is live. Uh, I've got a lot of memories there. We got engaged there as well. Oh, yeah, and, nice. um, yeah, it's a, it's a, I'd say it's probably a special place for, for the two of us. We, we do love going down there a lot. We try and get there a couple of times, a few times a year, something like that. Have you been to Machloop? Yep. Yeah, I've been to the Mat Loop uh, three or four times. Um, one time we we went down there and stayed near it specifically to go there. Um, we so the very first time we went, we literally just stopped in to see where it was on the way to uh -huh. somewhere else. Yeah, and we went for an hour. Um, we got um, two typhoons, a wow. hawk, 
and to Carnu's go through. Wow. And then as we were walking back to the car, a tornado went through. Yeah. All oh, in an wow. hour. And we were like, wow, this is amazing. We got to book a holiday for this. Wow, amazing. We came back for the holiday <laughs> and um, two days we blanked. Did <laughs> you really? Two yeah. full wow. days we spent up there from like nine in the morning till six at night. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Not a single thing. Yeah, I guess so that's just this a, is the uh, bit of hit and miss, yeah? Unless you get it's some, very hit and miss, yeah. Unless you've got some, uh, someone who works in, in the one of the air bases and, uh, yeah I'd say if you're looking for low level um, military action these days your best bet is probably around Thelmere in the Lake District uh, there seems to be a lot more activity around uh, yeah. um, these days yeah uh, I do plan to do some uh, live shows from uh, from some uh, military base uh, this uh, this year just you know, just, to, just to bring some uh, different uh, type of uh, movements and yeah. uh, an action into uh, into the channel so uh, yeah. military is definitely a uh, a very unique it is a yeah. unique thing to bring and the only thing we we kind of step away from military a little bit was just because it's very unpredictable and it can be hours of nothing and then everything for like 45 minutes yeah. and then nothing again yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it's very hard to find um you know the best time to go yeah but I mean, then you, if you, you go to the only thing for that is you, you've got to know some inside yeah. you need to have some connections or go to that. somewhere like Coningsby or something which yeah. is just all the time yeah, yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right I think that the, Wadding, uh, the, the airbase in Waddington they do have some uh um, some uh, some kind of exercise going on, and there's a lot of a uh, lot of um, uh, military planes involved. I think there was a there's uh, an operation uh, going on at the moment. Yeah, yeah Cobra yeah, Warrior, yeah. I think. That's, it is. Yeah. Cobra, yeah. that's the one. Yeah, yeah. So they do have a lot of uh, movements there, and I will uh, as Macavision. We will be streaming from uh, Royal International Air Tattoo in uh, hey. Fairford. All oh, right, nice. Yeah, yeah. So we will. Be, we, I'm going. They've been going there for the last four or five years. So it's just like absolutely. Uh, Amazing, amazing um, uh, show! You got uh, f- Fridays four hours flying display, and then Saturday, Sunday you might, you've got eight hours of flying display, guaranteed. You've got you know lots of uh, fighter jets. Uh, uh, there was a bit of a misfortune last year that we didn't get the uh, the F twenty two Raptor, but usually there are uh, coming in um, there, and you've got. Uh, like I said, this, the, the, the the days when they got flying this place, they're absolutely amazing. Yeah. But on top of that, uh, what we will be doing the, this year, we will be going there for a, like a three-day air show. Uh, but we will be going there for a week, and we'll be filming the, uh, the, arrival. the arrival and departure days. And they're on the best, mon- I think. And you've got all the planes from the static uh, display. They will be flying out. Uh, most of them will fly on Monday. Yeah, and I really. This, this um, is just like you know, you feel like you are in the candy and candy shop because like so many uh, aircraft. Uh, obviously, there was a plan for a special uh, flyover with B fifty two last year, but because of the situation with uh, with Ukraine, they had to kind of uh, miss it on the on the last minute. Yeah, uh, that is a lot of a lot of uh, great uh, great spotting. So we are planning to uh, uh, to be streaming live from. Uh, uh, from uh, Fairford this uh, yeah. uh, this summer, if they, we get the uh, enough, because the only problem you got there is kind of remote area, and you've got a lot of people in one place, so sometimes you might get uh, struggling for the signal. Uh, mm-hmm. but we did well last year, like I said, we only been streaming. Like I said, it was only 7:20, but the, as long as you've got a feed coming yeah, through, that's yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Uh, someone in the chat was just asking for a link to the book we recommended earlier. Um, I think mods we've got a command now exclamation mark uh, we did put it in sorry um, exclamation mark feel good if we've got a mod in the chat um, that should bring the uh, the link up to the uh, self help books that we recommended earlier on can I grab the uh, headset off Matty boy for yeah. a sec Oh, so massive guys, so thank you. So we asked for 15 subscriptions and we got uh, 40, so thank you guys. We just went over uh, 14,800, nice. so absolutely amazing level of support. So thank you very, very much, guys. And you will be able to, uh, those of you who are new to Mac Aviation, you will, you will uh, be able to check out our content tomorrow, uh, 10 o'clock. We start li- uh, live from, uh, from the south side. And we're going to be streaming for about four hours. And I've nice. just noticed we've got the A380 on the move, guys. 
Yes, on the taxi out now, the final departure for today's show. The uh, Emirates God. A380. The visibility's dropped so much now. Yes, yes. Wow. wow. I can't even see the start of 2 3 right anymore. Wow. Huge shout out to Matt as well. Yeah, huge shout out to Matt Smith. He's in the chat today. He's here getting photos. He just jumped on the stream for the last 15 minutes on the camera. Did a great job. Cheers, Matt. And John says, uh, I can tell the first officer landed your plane, Mark, because it was smooth. Oh! <laughs> Burns in the chat. <laughs> Oof. Look at it just disappearing already. The snow is getting heavier and heavier. The A380 now taxiing out in the snow. I know not much of it's sticking yet, but it is snowing. Nonetheless, you can tell the visibility has dropped right down behind the aircraft there. Can't even see the start of the runway anymore. Yeah, great sight. I think the show's wrapping up at just the right time by the looks of it. This is an <laughs> epic ending. <laughs> Enjoy this, guys. The taxi's past us. We'll grab a recording of this for you. I love that shot. Yeah, I'm curious how much the snow picks up on the stream. Yeah, it's mega that. It's obviously, video compression probably lose a bit of that detail, but. I've got. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, Whoa. Oh, that... Retro Air uh, Lingus. Yep. Nice. Lovely catch. Down with a bit of a bump, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I love that livery, you know. Have you have you got a, a bit of a soft spot for uh, retro liveries, I reckon? I do, yes. I think, uh, it's, I think it's because they're bringing me kind of memory back to the 80s, uh, some of them, when, you know, when we were young and wild. And yes, definitely <laughs> I do. I don't, I don't think I've seen a retro rivalry which I didn't like. Uh, I just kind of, yes, yeah, wow, that's good. Yeah, I fully agree with that. I do love the retro liveries. Have you got a favourite? Uh, or one that you just love seeing? Uh, I like the BA one. Uh, that's uh, the one I like. Uh, the Qatar, not the Qatar, the, um, the Kuwait, uh, the A330, mm -hmm. that's, Ooh, that's a good that's one. That's a stunner. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus, it's the, the, usually the, the, the A330, it's also sometimes it's I think I've seen one which is what one was kind of 18 years old so it's nice. kind of fit nice uh, all together uh, oh yeah the snow it's now getting uh, in now wow yeah it's really coming down now isn't it Translucent brand new viewer on Twitch welcome to you dude if you are watching on Twitch guys and you want to watch in glorious 4k search for airliners live on YouTube um, come across and watch in the high quality and uh, stay in the Twitch chat as well just to uh keep yourselves on that platform but uh, come and watch in 4k guys and enjoy the full resolution and uh, with the stunning visibility we've got here for the end of today's <laughs> show uh, 4k appreciated <laughs> <laughs> bringing you all of the great pixels for the end of today's show <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I have a bit of your uh... yes of course mate yeah 
with the way uh, video oh, compression that's, works. Um, oh. oh, sorry, I've pressed the wrong mute button. <laughs> it's all going wrong. Right, so the Pegasus 737 will be next out, and I'll be followed by the King of the Skies. Guys watching on YouTube, if you can hit that like button, that would be really massively appreciated on this lovely midweek madness yeah. snowy stream. It is, yeah. But uh, we'll say thanks again to Mac uh, Aviation, Eric, for Thank joining you for us today. for having me. It was yep. a great pleasure. It's like I said, it's... Uh, um, yeah, I'm um, looking forward to seeing you back on the other side, like yeah, you said. To get, uh, uh, get some of your, uh, your wellies out. Uh, <laughs> we'll find those. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give one last shout out to the camera for anyone watching? Oh, yes, who wants okay. to come so, uh, and just say quick the feedback is very Yeah, Matt saying the feedback's been absolutely great for Eric in the chat as oh, well. Legends. Oh, right, guys. So it's brilliant. Uh, it's been, like I said, Great pleasure to be with uh, with the uh, Airliners Live, uh, the biggest uh, UK uh, channel in UK and one of the biggest in the world. So it's a great pleasure to be here. And uh, thanks, guys, for all uh, all of you who's been uh, all the Mac friends and all who's uh, following me on the channel. And thank you for all you guys who have subscribed to uh, Mac Aviation today. Who's nearly uh, 300 uh, uh, of kind uh, souls have subscribed to. Uh, a Mac uh, channel, so thank you very, very much for that. Yep. Tomorrow is going to be our first uh, live shows for those of uh, you who are new, uh, so hopefully you're going to enjoy the content. Uh, obviously, it won't be as good as this one, but it's no, really no, mate, trying. No, it'll be brilliant, it'll be brilliant. Uh, but thank you very, very much for having me. It's been a great pleasure. So yeah, definitely. make sure you tune in, guys. Mac Aviation on YouTube, super genuine guy, amazing community, great channel. Thanks. Links are in the chat. It's been a pleasure having with us today. We're going to wrap the show up because the King of the Skies is lining up any second yep. now. Yes, and we are big fans of Mac as well. We actually have him on a lot in the office. We're kind of like Lurker's Lounge because in our office we have a TV and we always look for live streams to put on there. And if, if Mac Aviation is live, we'll put him on. Thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that's why you never see us in the chat because we're usually busy doing meetings. No, I know. I'm the same. We're, we're uh, lurking. We're lurking. Yeah, we're, we're lurking. We're yeah. always I'm, I'm, I'm the same as you guys <laughs> Uh, the only thing I'm, I'm lacking at the moment is just time, uh, yeah. obviously. But uh, like I said, I'm pushing hard to uh, with with the ho with the hope that I will be able to uh, give up my part time job uh, at some point this year and then just focus yeah. on uh, on this great community. So I'm yeah. sure you'll smash it, mate. I'm sure, you'll smash yeah. it, dude. Yeah. And uh, a final big thank you to Ralph for sending in a five dollar super chat. Really do appreciate that, mate. And uh, just from us, for anyone who has come over from uh, Eric's channel today and you're watching Airliners Live for the first time, a massive welcome to our community. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed our content today. Definitely. And uh, we love to welcome you into the community. And uh, like I say, just build some positivity and some uh, some some great connections with, uh, with this yeah. great airport. And uh, here we go, guys. The Emirates A380 is lining up. The final departure of today's show. Uh, and what a way to wrap it up, eh? Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, I remember I was uh, streaming from uh, Heathrow. Uh, we had the uh, last two aircrafts which were arriving one after another, two A380s. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it was one VA from Dallas and one uh, Singapore Airlines from Singapore. So that's... Uh, yeah, not a uh, bad way to finish the stream, <laughs> no, mate, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think once, once before we did have two A380s in the shot, yeah. Uh, from Southside once oh, a yeah. long time ago yeah. because one was very heavily delayed. That's right, I think. Um, I think yeah. but apart from that, no, we've, we've uh, never seen the two at uh, once. <laughs> you don't see that very often anyway. Because it's, uh, maybe unless you're streaming in uh, um, Dubai, perhaps. Exactly. <laughs> Here we go, 380 on the roll. Visibility really dropping. We're catching the departure of the King of the Skies on the Midweek Madness show here on Airliners Live. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. That was epic. 
as an epic, epic show. We had Eric with us today. Absolutely Thank you very mega much. show. Big what? thanks to Matt for jumping on the camera for a little while as yeah. well. Awesome stuff. And uh, thanks to all of you guys in the chat as well. We hope you had a great time. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much in. for tuning in. We've been Allies Live. It's been Eric from Mac Aviation. Indeed. Andy up on the cam. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Sir Alfred. Thanks. Bye. See ya.